Brennan, how you doing? Ray, what's happening? Like and share, guys. Nathan Faruja, how are you, man? Victor is on the way. I think Brett Murray's there. Corey Dark, how are you, bro? Like and share, like and share. Woo, 20 people already, man. What's going on? Are we, uh, we're liking the vibes, man. We're liking the Drake. Cheers. <laughs> South are playing tonight, are they? Barrel off just rocked up. All good, man. Like and share, like and share. Keep them going. Oh, there he is. Oh, big, big, big hat. Come around, come around. Hey. Good evening, guys. Welcome. We're just waiting. They're liking and sharing at the moment. So. Yeah, yeah, they're all good. Just get ready here. Keith Doherty, what's happening? Kefteva, CMV, how are you, bro? Hope you're at home. Bazina, how are you, brother? Should be a red cup. You'll be, uh, you'll be on, uh, on first, Mr. Bazina, today. Got a few commitments. Should be a red cup. Look at that. Used to always stay at home, be a good girl, you was in a zone. Yeah. Sound is awesome, awesome, man. Drake, Drake's happening. Like and share, if ever. Like and share, Steve, like and share. 34 people, here we go, here we go, like and share. Woo! These Drake tracks, man, we need to get back to the States and those clubs, man. You got the big bling happening here. Chris Whelan, how are you, bro? Like and share, like and share. Sound is good. Let's see how we go. Make sure if you're coming on the show tonight, you got your headphones. We got ours. Let's hope we're going to have a good Like and share. Who's doing that? Who's doing that? Like and share. Oh, yeah. 36. Here we go. Make sure you go into the video, man. Like, press the video so we can see you on. Like and share, like and share. We'll just, uh, we're right on time today. Spirellus, how are you, bro? Like and share, man, like and share. Today's drink is uh, sparkling water. Ah. Same colour green, Gina, how are you? The baddest r racer, female rotary racer in the world. 100%. Gina, getting it done, man. Getting it done, Gina. I hope you're liking the, the Drake guys. Sean Richardson, how are you, brother? Are you in Australia or you're over at the Sweet 16? Well, uh, is that the Val Wheel standing in the pick? Michael Brennan, yes, it is. Move your hat, man. Show him the Val Wheel standing, man. All up on 235s, man. Hey, Kip. Like and share, like and share. Is that Kipski? Uh huh. I need you on this episode. Thank you. So I'm going to Carol, Darren Ward. Oh, maybe we'll kick off. All right, uh, yeah, 58, like and share, like and share, guys. <coughs> 58 people like and share. We'll get to 100 pretty quick. Thanks, Michael. Not Sweet 16, all right. Tony Ellis, how are you? Welcome, man. This is the new Khalid OTW with uh, Ty Dollar. Anyway, like and share, guys. We've got 60 on board. Let's like and share. Dal Hillier, evening. Yeah. Two, three, five, the world. <laughs> hey boys, how are you, George? Like and share, like and share. Alrighty. Well, uh, Victor's going to kick us off for uh, episode 13. Thank you for uh, tuning in to uh, Operation Radio Radio Freedom. Freedom. Yeah, no, thanks guys for joining in again. Uh, no, we just want to take a couple of minutes out, thank our sponsors. Our first one is Australian Muscle Car Sales. They're located down at 20 Commercial Road, Kingsgrove. All your muscle car needs, 
Uh, ask for Mike Selby or Chris Tortzis. They're, uh, they're at hand to help you with whatever you need, buying or selling. The guys are awesome. Um, pick up the phone, give them a, a quick g'day and let them pop on down there and have a look through the store, man. It's uh, definitely a candy store, right? Um, just repeating that. That's at 20 Commercial Road, Kingsgrove, Australian Muscle Car Sales. Mike Selby or Chris Tortzis. You can get them on www.australianmusclecarsales.com.au. All your muscle car needs, buying or selling, guys. Great supporters of the show absolutely, there and absolutely. the racing. Who else we got? We got Speedy Differentials. He's located at a 1004 Botany Road, Botany. Um, down in Mascot, obviously in Sydney, New South Wales as well. 9316 9289. All your differential needs there. www.speedydiffs.com.au. Jim's a big supporter of the Drag Radial series as well. Yeah, and we want to thank Jim and uh, and, and Muscle Cars. Uh, they've been throwing around 500 bucks here, there and everywhere. And... Uh, and uh, supporting us as much as we can. Like and share, guys, like and share. So, um, Victor, as you said, mate, big yeah. shout out to our to our sponsors, uh, Australian Muscle Car Sales, who uh, are actually coming on board with Victor and, and, uh, and his program, um, and also uh, Speedy Diffs located in uh, Botany Road in Mascot if you need any of your diff requirements sorted. Um, Vic, we've got a pretty action-packed show uh, today. Um, no, we do. And we do. Uh, we've got some fantastic guests that are going to be coming up. So, guys, like and share. We've got Steve Bazina, who's going to be the first cab off the rank today. Um, so keep that in mind, uh, Steve, if you're almost getting ready. Uh, we'll probably have you on in the next five minutes. Just a couple of announcements, uh, and I think Vic's going to cover off a few things um, before we kick into gear. But, uh, Victor, I'll hand it over to you just in regards yeah, to no, uh, a we, few things happening. Look, we've got a good buddy of ours, Steve Naban. That's uh, Billy Naban's brother. Uh, excuse me, from Unique Mufflers there. He's uh, been diagnosed with... Um, yeah, unfortunately, the C word, it's getting around everywhere uh, with stomach cancer and stuff. He's going to be off for a lengthy period off his store. Um, the shop will be closed. Um, they do have a GoFundMe page, anyone that wants to assist there. Uh, Steve Naban, Unique Mufflers. I'm just bringing it up uh, now. Yeah, if you can. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, bring, a link on I'm there. just bringing it up now. <clears throat> if anyone wants to donate and assist, like I said, he'll be out of action for a while. And he will have uh, if someone, the uh, store shut. Yeah, well, potentially, you know, uh, best part of uh, three months, I believe. So Vic, uh, he's got... So he uh, needs a little bit of help there to sort of keep that going and paying rents and stuff like that. So, so he's been diagnosed and why he has to close the shop down? Correct, correct. He's got to close it down at this stage. Um, they're going to obviously try and keep it shut, pay the rent until he's better. But I guess everyone's just got to get together and, um, you know, have a go. Anyone that can help him out is great. Anyone that can't, it's not an issue. But, yeah, for anyone feeling generous, they can do something. Uh, he's on the GoFundMe page, just bring it up. So um, I, I just want to thank Yusuf for, for sending this through to me. So <clears throat> you can see that it's uh, Big Brother Steve. Um, if you can look that up, GoFundMe, they've raised about three grand. The the uh, the goal is 10000 but um, I don't believe the 10000 is uh, for personal funds. Um, for, for what Vic was saying, the no, 10000 was just to just pay just rent so he doesn't have to shut his business down, down. Um, until he has the... Um, the cancer surgery. So, um, if anyone that knows Steve is watching, <clears throat> please let him know that our, our love and thoughts are, are with him uh, in this very difficult time. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, no one wants to uh, go through cancer, man. And um, and Steve's got a very uh, very tough road, but he's a very tough character as well. Vicky's known him for a long, long time. time mate. One of the most giving guys I've ever met. He's um, he's a character. Uh, always can put a laugh on your <laughs> uh, on your dial. But yeah, um, but yeah, if you if you can, guys, just uh, big brother Steve. Uh, we're not affiliated with that, but I want to thank Yusuf from Argyle for quickly sending me that uh, that link. Uh, very important, um, uh, Muhammad. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Steve has known Vic for a very, very long time. There's been a lot of uh, exhaust systems get done at Steve Unique Mufflers in Sydney. If you've ever been to Sydney, so um, please, guys, if you can, um, just just a small shout out there for Steve Unique. I think you had a another couple of uh, bits of business. Yeah, as well. no, we um, we're gonna have. Uh way to egg stuff on but I yeah. believe he, he messaged earlier that um, just unexpectedly his father's been rushed off as well to hospital hospital there yeah. he's um, yeah, he's not well I mean I think I believe a bit of a, an injury there yeah uh, don't know how severe it is but it, it seems pretty pretty for long oh so. look I don't, I don't want to give away personal details yeah. but um, I, I Wade um, Wade, Wade messaged Vic and I and there, something so. happened at work and um, mm. uh, I think he's off to hospital for surgery at this point in time so we wish uh, Wade and his family all the best and Andrew uh, a speedy recovery the Wagstaff's um, uh, great supporters of radio racing in this country and taking the flag overseas and, and flying it guys flying so uh, they flew it for all of us so uh, we wish the Wagstaff's a speedy recovery um, and again uh, Steve Unique we really wish you all the best man in your in your uh, journey 
and uh, your brother Victor here is um, always looking at ways to support you and uh, put a smile on your dial, mate. So uh, again, thank you uh, for that. Um, and if you've just joined us, please like and share. We've got 86 guys. David Moitz joined us. Uh, Steve Nabrega, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Like and share, guys. Like and share. Cameron Roy. Cameron Roy on. Jason Ruby. Um, fantastic. Spichali. Oh, Spichali. Pro Speed, guys. Uh, go to prospeed.com.au uh, uh, if you, uh, the website's up. If not, look him up on... Um, on Facebook, Pro Speed Productions, doing some great uh, great videos. He'll be doing a lot of videos for the new uh, Jet 275 um, in conjunction with a couple of guys in the States that they'll be working and collaborating together and getting some of our media up there. Um, so, guys, thank you. Like and share. We're up to 101 <coughs> now, so that's fantastic. Uh, but Pro Speed Productions, uh, give him a shout-out. Mark Jordan Peck, how are you, sir? Uh, you've got uh, Jet 235, uh, from what I understand there. So, fantastic for you all there. Uh, Mark Blakey, any updates on Jet 30R? Yes, there will be some updates on Jet 30R. Um, there's been a lot of people asking, so that's been good. Craig Lewis, uh, Vincent Mitchell, uh, how are you? Love the car, guys. Thank you. That's Thanks, that's Vic's Valiant uh, 235 car. Uh, that engine's being um, sorted out by uh, Nick Zarakis and, uh, and Victor. Uh, there'll be a nice natural a a aspirated engine combo coming uh, pretty soon, yeah? Very soon. Yeah, you're, uh, you're getting there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Kip Ski, David Moy, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Ray Lulash, how are you, mate? Kim. All righty. Um, so we might try and bring Steve Bazina on, guys. So again, if you if you just joined us, uh, we just thanked our sponsors, Australian Muscle Car Sales um, and Speedy Diffs. Uh, Vic, Australian Muscle Car Sales address. Australian Muscle Car Sales, Where once are again, they? based at 20 Commercial Road, Kings Road, Sydney, New South Wales, www.australian muscle car sales, for all your buying and selling needs. Speedy Diffs, 1004 Botany Road, Mascot, again, Sydney, New South Wales, www speedy Diff for differential needs. Thank you very much to those guys. Again. Beautiful. And if you're about to join us, please like and share, guys. Like and share. Um, mm. We're about to put the headphones on. And uh, make sure you've got your your uh, earpieces in um, so we can have this, uh, no have this stuff Brinkley's going. Tony Brinkley's come on there. Tony Brinkley, how are you, man? G-Bear. I'm not sure who GB is. Is he? But he's oh, fantastic. Guy King, how are you, man? King. Welcome. Like and share, guys. Like and share. Let's get this thing happening. Um, I'm going to put the headset on. Yep. See if we can get Steve Bazina rolling. Let's and, get uh, uh, Steve on. Let's see how we go. Uh, I can't bring you on, Steve, as yet. So, Steve, just make sure you're on your mobile device, please. <coughs> and um, earphones to suit. You've got your headset, and then I'll uh, I'll try to get you on. I'll actually cool. have it have it here so you can uh, you can request as well so Steve if you can just check uh, check you're on your mobile device uh, mobile phone or a tablet and um, click actually into the live video so we can see you there and uh, and we'll be able to get you on very shortly uh, just a couple of things I wanted to uh, cover off just before we bring Steve on um, and I'll wait for him just to Steve you can request as well if you need to um, we we'll just uh, I can't refresh it. I can't add you so yeah try and refresh it or anything. Um, just a couple of things I, I had a good chat with the Kinder guys um, after the episode and, and guys thanks for the feedback uh, we had fantastic feedback I had I had about thirty five messages, a lot of messages a lot of um, about calls. about twenty phone calls um, to me and Vic had another twenty to him um, and the Kinder guys reached out obviously uh, we're big supporters of the Kinder series and, and pushing the series um, just in regards I, I mentioned if anyone knew Agazi at VP to get the traction compound. Um, it's actually not possible at Willow Bank, um, uh, purely on the fact that Willow Bank have their own deal when it comes to traction compound. Um, they actually supply the regional tracks as well, which I wasn't aware of. Um, so I, I didn't want to throw a spanner in any of those works, guys. But, we've got that under, but, but, under um, now. but now that we've got the information, now that, that is quite expensive in terms of what they're charging for the traction compound. So guys, um, if anyone wants to jump on board for sponsorship for Kenda, um, even if it's just for that, I believe the, the, each drum's about 1,400 bucks um, from what I was told, so um, please have that in mind. Definitely not a cheap. Uh, it's not a cheap compound, but they use a lot of it at Kenda, so you can understand where the hell the money goes. Yeah, um, so just want to make sure that um, uh, it's uh, PJ one. PJ one, correct? Yeah. Tom Creasy's there. Um, so they've got a they've got a special deal there, and they can't use VP. Um, but uh, guys, if anyone wants to come board on board for uh, sponsorship, then um, that's the way to do it. Um, Craig Everly, how are you, man? Hope you enjoyed uh, your, your small trip to uh, Sydney and. Uh, Hope we made it enjoyable on uh, Saturday evening for you, mate. Um, Hopefully enjoyed those tomahawks. <laughs> we found the tomahawks there. Let's see. Steve, we can't get you on yet, mate. Um, Steve, if you're there, mate, just uh, give me a message or, or anything. I uh, just need to uh, get you on a mobile device because we can't bring you on yet. Or you can request to come on, guys. Uh, <coughs> like and share, like and share. We've got 120. Absolutely, guys, like and share. Fantastic. 
Fantastic stuff there. So we've got Nathan Ferrugia on tonight as well. Um, and he's uh, he's confirmed he's going to jump on board. We may have uh, Colin Wilshire from Puerto Rico. I'm not sure. He's attending some huge event uh, in Puerto Rico. Wade, um, if you just joined us, can't join. His, uh, his dad's had a slight accident at work and uh, they're in the hospital. But uh, thanks to whoever's liking and sharing. I don't know who that is, but keep it going because um, the numbers are climbing, which is great. Um, so, yeah, guys, like and share, like and share as much as you can. Um, Sam Epifania. Sam how are you, bro? Thanks Good for joining us. Uh, like and share, guys. Like and share, like and share. Just waiting for Steve to uh, to jump on. Hopefully, he's got everything sorted there now. I'm just going to make a quick mention there. We had, we had something last week there. Not any controversy, but we, we just wanted to clarify anybody on 275s there. Um, you know, send your time card through. I believe we got uh, Tim Crosses through, Nathan Ferruja and... Um, Steve Bazinas. I don't know if um, you received anything there from the Snickers man, Perry Bullivant. No, I haven't. I, I, I haven't got. If, if you got the time card there, Perry, can I, you send I don't it have through ter there? Perry's. I've got so everyone else. Who, who's doing what? Everyone Eight else. Mile, quarter mile, speeds, ETs. That's all. I think the other guys have sent them through there. So, and I think, uh, well, not. I think we'll have those uh, adjusted up on um, on on Kip on Kip's uh, outlaw radio page there. Okay. I'm just messaging Steve Bazina. <coughs> but sometimes what it is is a setting that you have to be able to allow people to invite you on. Yes, um, maybe that needs to be activated. Yeah, and so it's down the bottom, guys. Uh, there's a little Four man with a little picture. Oh, thanks for liking and sharing, guys. What's up? Hope this sounds really good. Um, so if you click the little guy with the picture, and then you can actually invite yourself to join. Yep. Um, and there's a few people on here now. Uh, let's see, where is he? So hopefully my, my list refreshes soon. Ref yeah, let it refresh again. I just noticed Con Crease is there. Um, he's one of the diehards oh, there, mate. He works at Rocket there. They reckon they've got, uh, what's he got? They've got uh, PJ1 I, I, there. I've so. got TJ Warren wants to join. No, we don't We don't want TJ Warren. We don't want Aldridge, but no, we, need, we need Steve Bazina. <coughs> so I've got a few requests, um, but I don't have Steve. Where are you, Mr. Bazina? Oh no, Steve Mabriga. Oh, Greasy said that rocket there, they got that PJ1, so. Oh, they've got it at Rocket? Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. The, mm. So the, the boys rang me and said that that's the deal there. I was um, wondering for Sydney what the deal is there. I'd say they'd be supplying it through them as well. Mm. Steve Bazina, can you hear us? Uh, he said he sent a request, but we haven't seen a request. Do you have to close that around or something? Dude? No, not really. <coughs> but we'll wait. Um, so we've got Matt McCarthy joining us as well. We've got Craig Lewis joining us as well. Um, and Nathan Ferrugia. And then towards the end, man, we're happy to bring on more people. Uh, Michael Okuri, 80 at 180. I gather that's 180 or 18 something. Need heaps more radial meets in Australia. Yeah, we've got some big news on that while we're waiting for um, for Steve. So um, I heard I heard whispers there was a there was a a page today that mentioned that there would be a radial versus the world class at the Winter Nationals. Uh, if someone can confirm that for me um, on here, that'll be great. Uh, Marco from Australia, thanks for joining. Like and share, guys. Like and share. Uh, hey, Kevin Toon, Marco how are from you? Austria, mate. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Anyway, it's Michael. But anyway, yeah. Michael Okur, eight zero at one seventy. Is that what you ran, brother? It's flying, brother. That's fast, man. Like and share, like and share, guys. Thank you. Uh, we're just waiting for to bring on Mr. Bazina somehow. No. Not yet. What's going on here? Nathan Ferruja. Do you want to bring him on briefly? Well, I might bring on Craig. So we'll bring on uh, Craig quickly until yep. we can sort out uh, Steve. So, Craig, I'm going to bring you on, mate. Make sure you've got your headset on. And uh, If you don't know who Craig Lewis is, where have you been leaving? Oh, oh. Steve. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jeez. I think we got him. Hold on. <laughs> do that again, Steve. There it is. Hey, I'm going to do it for you. Good stuff, mate. You got it. You got it, mate. All right. that 215 mile. Hopefully Mr. Bazzino, how are you? Bloody technology, boys. Uh, mate, you got it sorted, and uh, I gather there's no <laughs> feedback there. <laughs> all good, all good. 
nice and clear. Mate, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, what little, an, little, what... little, little, little time coming, but uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, Vic and I have uh, kept a, a, a big eye on that because you haven't um, gone down the route of, um, of everyone else. You've kept that car as original as possible, um, as heavy yeah. as you possibly could, and you, <laughs> and you shoehorned the biggest engine you possibly could. <laughs> uh, we looked around, mate. There was nothing bigger. <laughs> no, there, there, there was, but uh, obviously the plan was... Um, to try and cut as many laps as we could. But no one's really doing what we were doing in those small blocks, um, even in the States, and, and to get what we were getting done in that, that car, or both the cars, a white car as well. Um, Frank had a bit less luck than me. He, he opened up two blocks. Um, I was lucky, only, lucky to only ever open one up, but sort of got to a point where it was, uh, let's throw too much engine at the car and then work back that way. Um, and it was... Not an easy road getting there. If you had to see me on the Wednesday on the testing day um, prior to those couple of passes on Thursday, mate, I had uh, half the eBay ad written. I was out. I was done. <laughs> um, but, man, it's amazing what happens when everything comes your way again. And it was a long time coming, but, you know, no one gave up on it. Um, in theory, it should work straight away. You know, big engine, uh, too much power. Everything should work. But, you know, it's like boys trying to get power down on those radials. On a leaf spring car with a ton of weight, um, it was good, good, good for it to happen. It was great. Uh, we were jumping up and down when we heard what you read. To be honest, um, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted, I've heard that a bit actually. Wanted, <laughs> <I've> heard... <laughs> I, I just wanted to clarify that um, if everyone's listening, there's 178 people joining us at the moment. 185. So like and share. This is our biggest episode ever, Steve. So you must be famous, mate. But um, uh -huh. I just want to clarify, guys. It's hey, it's not me. It's the car. Yeah. That's on, a leaf, that's on a leaf spring. What's it like on a leaf, leaf spring? That's on a leaf spring. Unbelievable. What's it like being the fastest leaf spring in Australia? <laughs> that's um, it. Mate, I, 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 I don't, don't know about that, but I, can, I, I don't think there's anybody quick. I mean, we're happy for it to... We'll you know, put the challenge in. out for you, Steve. But, yeah, yeah. Um, oddly enough, man, it was still like driving that car down the Princess Highway, to be honest. Oh, it, um, yeah. from, from half track, well, pretty much from as it rolled over 60 and it stuck... I could feel that that huge ramp of boost coming in, you know, and, and it was, still wasn't quick, even though the car's set up at the moment in, uh, in quarter mile trim, not, not eighth mile. It still wasn't super quick to, to the eighth mile. It was a 455, something, something like that. But from then on, man, that car puts like 50, 55 miles on the back end. <laughs> and I'm sitting in the car, and all of a sudden, honestly, I just felt this amazing calm come over me, and I'm like, as weird as it was sitting in that thing doing that mile an hour, and I didn't know what it was doing, but I knew it was quick. I just felt all of a sudden at home in that thing. And I do that. That's what I love about that car, you know, and that model car. I grew up. That was our family type of car. We grew up in X, XYs, XWs. They still smell the same, even though you put a, a 481 X in them. You know, it's got all the trim. It's got the headliner in it, the dash, the whole deal. It feels like you're sitting in traffic on the Princess Highway. Um, at no point did it feel unstable. It was just, and, and look, I knew it was quick. It, it was like speeding up, you know, the scene out of Mad Max when they speed the car up down the, mm. heading, heading yeah. along. It doesn't look real. It looks fake. But it, yeah, it was just, at no point was I worried. It just felt amazing. Brother, and the then way, the, the, the good thing is, was to come around and, and back it up again was just oh, even yes. better. That was the was, icing I, on the cake. I was just going to say that, Steve. It wasn't a Hollywood pass. Um, Correct, and, um, yeah. I, I know you've had a, a very strong relationship with Frank from Dandy Engines and um, yep. you brought the, the ProLine team in and, and firstly can I say congratulations on a fantastic little article that was in the Street Machine because um, it, you don't hide anything from anyone. It was, uh, it was very uh, honest of you to say, look, we brought the ProLine guys on to help. Uh, Frank's always been involved with your car as well. Um, and, he, and Frank's probably one of the biggest radial uh, races in Australia, to be honest, not only with his car, but now to have uh, one of the fastest 275 cars in the country. And if not um, up there in the world, uh, Steve, we follow the 275 scene uh, pretty closely, man. 215 is way up there. Um, I, th I think a couple of guys in the US did uh, a few Hollywood passes, but the mile an hour that you're showing in the ET is amazing. I'm for sure a, you've got... For a four-door leaf oh, car, you know mate, what I mean? It's, it's, yeah, it's a real deal. We, we were just so so happy for you because I know you've been chasing the six for a long time. Not only did you reach the six, but you belted it out of the park. Um, I'm sure your wife and, and family would have been very happy when that happened. But um, tell us what it felt like when you drove back 
um, and, and and you found out what you actually ran. Well, what was, point did you find out? Or when did you find out? Yeah, and, and how did you feel? So, so obviously, being a test day, you know, there's not the crowds and there's not the the announcements and that sort of stuff. Um, I, I brought the car around the braking area. Actually, when I when I pulled the chutes, so Joey Gauchi and and uh, and Jono were on the start line. Uh, <clears throat> Joe said he heard the car shift gear and he saw my hand go straight up on the lever. So at that point too, I knew it was it was on a rattler, you know. I brought the car around. Um, I, I do my normal thing where, where I clip out of everything. I was probably a little bit quicker than what I usually do it because I was I was a fair bit of adrenaline going out, and, and I knew it was I did knew it feel, was that six second pass. Did you feel it on the shoes when you pulled it? Did you yeah, feel yeah. It on the so shoes, yeah? that sand trap came up a lot quicker than usual, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the car pulled up perfect. You know, it didn't jump around. It, it wasn't scary in any way, shape, or form. Came back around. I got out of the car, and and usually I, I don't shake, but I was shaking like a schoolgirl, and. I reckon with that was probably probably the speed it was doing. I leant back in the car just to check when I had on my helmet and off, check that uh, I had the O2 bottle turned off, and I've got Craig Brewer's uh, photo on my mm. steering wheel, sent him a steering wheel, and uh, I got pretty emotional from then on. Um, and it, it, as I say, it had been a pretty hard day the day before, and no sleep. And, and <coughs> John and Jonathan, had, uh, Joe and Jonathan, sorry, at Profab, had worked pretty much all through the night. I had to drive the, the car back or the truck back to the track in the morning, and, and uh, so butter all asleep. Um, the, then I just heard basically these two crazy Maltese boys screaming their lungs out, coming back on a golf buggy, <laughs> and, I, and and that's when I knew, yeah, yeah, we've we, I've ran a number. Joe just about knocked me to the ground. He's as solid as a rock. He's just about knocked me to the ground. We're all, all jumping around and carrying on. And, and yeah, it was, it was an amazing feeling. And then, you know, John had sat in the car and drove it back and I sat, sat with Joe in the golf buggy. And, and we were both kind of a little bit speechless for a while. And even he said he, he, he watched the car go down the track. He saw the time boards come up and he said he just stared at the, stared at the time boards for about five seconds and went, it's not equating. It's not making sense. Mm. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, they, they, they fired shots all over the world, uh, and Joe, Joe Gauchi has, has been a pioneer in radio racing in Australia, um, and, and I know he's involved with the car. So, so now that we're talking about who's involved with the car, um, Steve, can you give us a, a brief rundown on, on, um, on, on exactly who's involved and, uh, and anyone you wanted to thank uh, for your operation? And, um, and I know you're a big family man, so I know your family's uh, way up there on the list. Yeah, so... Um... My wife and kids have a fair bit to do it. They they like to surprise me at some race meets when they're not coming, which is always a big buzz. Um, and, and my wife's very um, uh, understanding of the hobby a hobby I have, a hobby I've had for a lot of years. Um, <clears throat> Frank Frank is a guy that I approached many years ago, basically through Dan Yudens, because I had an aspirated car. Well, the car was aspirated when I bought it, really um, consistent aspirated car. Decided I wanted a blown car, never had a blown car. Ha didn't have much luck with it. Um, and then was talking to Frank and he's like, well, our, our white car we we're going to use as a dummy for a turbo. How do you feel about being um, a guinea pig? And I'm like, yeah, cool, you know. So from day dot, we've had some amazing achievements in that car. We've had some terrible, terrible days and terrible times with it. Um, at no point have we ever had a falling out. At no point um, have I parted ways. He's invested in that car um, mentally as much as I am. Um, that said, so is Lou, who's, who's the owner of Danny Engines and all the staff that are, um, have rallied around the car every time there's, there's time to do things. Joe, Jonathan and Catherine from Profab, um, again, they've, they've, they've been with us with the involvement of the car, you know, trying to get that thing to work on the leaf spring and, and that small tyre. Uh, Freddie from Pro Trans, he's got me out of many holes when we've had transmissions not work and, and you know, we we're in a hole there for a long time with transmissions and Freddie's, you know, come to the party heaps of times. Uh, Nads, who's involved with Fuel Tech um, and does a fair bit of the, the problem solving, tuning, um, that sort of thing. Uh, Glenn Skinner, who you might know, is the, he's got the black uh, Mustang, the old Dom Lupino Mustang, mm, PSP yeah. boss. Beautiful he's guy. been with me for an yeah. uh, old mate from years ago. Uh, Godfather to his sons. Um, his wife's also a, a, um, a great wife in the sense of, of letting Glenn come out and hang out with us, and, and the boys come out with us a, a bit too as well. Um, Ange, Angelo Arena, who's a, is a friend of Frank's, uh, best mate of Frank's, he's always there, you know, taking time out of his own work to, to be able to come and help us out. Um, 
and you know what, a lot of the races, and you boys know this, a lot of the, a lot of the races um, that we race with, it's not about trying to jump in front of someone or, or, or you know, if, if someone's down and out trying to drive over the top of them. There's always guys coming running in trying to give you a hand with parts or a, a hand or, you know, before you know it, someone else is under your car, you don't even know half the time and helping you, you know, do some work on it. So um, that sort of thing's amazing. Eric Dillard's been, been pretty uh, involved in the car, especially this time around with the, with the 481. Um, and all, you know, Steve Paddy over, over the years as well. So, you know, it's not one or two people. Um, I'm just the banana that hangs off the steering wheel pretty much. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it takes a, a great deal of people to, to make it happen. And, and that's, uh, uh, we're all racers that are watching this and guys like and share because we've got Steve Bazina on here telling us about his record pass and uh, we're almost at 200 people now. Uh, Steve, listening to the fantastic achievement that you had. But um, if anyone was just listening to Steve talk, you realise that there was in excess of 10 people that were, or 10 groups of people that were involved with, with what Steve was saying yeah. to, to achieve a goal. Um, and, and I've always said that drag racing is not uh, an individual sport, it's a team sport. Uh, not one person can do everything on a car. Um, but, but Steve, what you've achieved in a Leaf Spring four-door Australian muscle car um, and fired shots all over the globe um, in terms of the speed, in terms of the mile an hour, in terms of how you did it and the combination that you did it with. Uh, so you That's should be Steve. extremely proud of what you've achieved. Uh, we're very proud um, in the 275 radial world uh, and the radial world in general of having an Aussie muscle car to do that, mate. Um, I've had a, a couple of races with you, mate. You're a gentleman on the start line. Um, you're, you're a genuine racer. You, you care about the other races. And, mate, I was very, very happy for you when you ran that, that, that time and that speed, brother. Nice words, boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, tell me, mate, what, what do you do for a normal day, uh, Crust? Uh, can we plug your business on here? Um, I think you've got a signage company, or is that is that correct? Yeah, so uh, sort of signage across the board, everywhere from you know basic things all the way up to to vehicle wraps and and display villages. Um, yeah, you name it, mate. If you stand stand still enough, we'll whack a sign on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the business called, and where's it where's it located? Uh, it's Vision Signs in in Melbourne, in Victoria. Um, vision vision signs, you said. Vision yeah. signs, yeah. yeah Coming great. up to, I think it's our twentieth birthday, actually. Wow! Soon, so I get to be a twenty-year-old again. Big celebrations, man! Twenty and then twenty-one next year. There you go. Yeah, exactly. No, fantastic, guys. So if you heard that, vision signs in uh, Victoria. If you need uh, any signs for your businesses, uh, any wraps for your cars, um, Steve Bazzino is an absolute record setter at the moment. Um, Steve, you've got your times. Uh, we've got Tim Cross's times. We've got Ferruja's times. I think we're just waiting on Perry's times just to compare, but you're all very close there. So uh, we've got to work out who the fastest is and that way we can sort that out. But um, definitely the fastest mate on the leash brings it in a four door. Oh, Jesus, man. Well, yeah. boys, uh, <laughs> if, if everything yeah. goes, look, look, look at the data. I mean, we're, we're miles out where we need to be on that um, eighth, eighth mile again, even though we're in quarter mile trim. We reckon there's a couple of numbers there in that, in that, uh, in that eighth mile. If, if that does what, it, what we hope it's going to do uh, at Jambo, then uh, watch this space. Or, you know, that engine's not even working yet. Yeah, no, no we can understand how much power yeah. that is. Uh, look, my, pre <laughs> my prediction is uh, 221 on the next pass. Um, if, uh, all 221? Stars, okay. All, if the all stars, <laughs> planets and moons. No pressure. Well, I, I think uh, I, if, if he runs at 220.5, <laughs> I'm going to be the closest one there, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm going to go 221. Okay. I can tell you if it does that, you, you, you know, that from a 211 to 215, I've found every bit of that four mile an hour. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. That's but, for sure. But we know that uh, awesome, the Dandy awesome Engines job. Proline combination there that with the fuel tech on board, all the people you've got from ProFab, Joe, Joe Gouch is uh, totally on board and all, all your friends and family involved, mate, to go from where the, the car was running to 211 to now, I would say, right on the door of 216. Um, and then the next step, I know that 481X is just jogging at the moment. So um, I'm sure that when you decide to really wind it up, and we all wind it up eventually, um, so there's no problem in doing that, mate. That's what drag racing is about. But uh, we'll be right there cheering you on, brother. Amazing result, mate. Appreciate Amazing it. stuff. So where are you racing next? Are you going to be at Jambo on the 30th, or what's the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're all set for Jambo. Um, obviously, that didn't happen, and uh, I had to fly up last Thursday and go and pick the car up and, and quickly service the engine as such. Um, yep. We're heading back up there on Thursday. We'll test Friday. Um, and then, yeah, we're looking forward to it to a cracker race meet. It's, it's my favourite event by miles. Um, been ch ch chatting to the track recently and, and they're obviously going to 
hopefully give us a, a radial track um, mm. for the event. It's hard, obviously, when you've got so many classes. But, you know, I, I guess that thing happening in our car um, only ha- goes to justify what happens, you know, if, if, if the track prep's there. Um, so with any luck, we, we get that track and we can beat up on this thing as, as much as we want to. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it there first. Uh, Steve Bazzina is going to be shooting for the uh, Stars, Planets and Moons. Where he's already done that uh, <laughs> uh, on the 30th of March in uh, Jamboree, Sydney. Steve, we want to thank you for your time. Congratulations again from me and Victor and the whole radio. Leaf Springs to the front, mate. Well done, front. That's it, boys. Have a good night, mate. Thank Have you. Have a good night. Thanks for coming on. All the best, boys. Cheers, thank thank you. you. Later. Wow, there you have it. Wow. Fastest man on a leash spring in the country. Oh, jeez, man. Steve Bazzina is uh, he's the hottest yeah, man yeah, on man. a 275 radio. He's getting industry. it done, man, in a four-door, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow. What an interview. Uh, uh, and how are those headphones working, mate? <laughs> jeez, I'm enjoying it because I can actually hear people properly, man. Yeah, it's yeah, fantastic. No, background, no, no bad background noise. Guys, like and share. You just had probably one of the best interviews we've had um, at this point in time, so thanks to those headphones. Um, Steve Bazzina is going to come out and, uh, and wind the wick up on that Proline uh, Dandy Engines prepared 481X in a uh, XY Falcon on Leaf Springs. XW, XW, Falcon, XW. Sorry. Falcon on Leaf Springs. Um, it's a blue thing. If you haven't seen it before, uh, you're living under a rock. Um, and <laughs> Steve's uh, company is called uh, Vision Signs. Vision Signs, Vision right, Signs yeah. in Melbourne. So, guys, um, if, you, if you have a business that needs uh, some sign work, some stickers made up, uh, go and... Uh, Go and check out Vision Signs there in Melbourne. They'll, they'll make it happen. Uh, Paul McNeil, hope you enjoyed that uh, that interview. That was a great one there with uh, Steve Bazzina. Speedy Diffie, yeah, the headphones are working. Um, question, who did he getting a motor for? Oh, no. Just repeat that question so we can, uh, concrete, we can yeah. ask. Uh, Steve has too much cash, brother. He probably spends that much cash on the car that um, uh, there's never enough in drag racing anyway. Uh, Sam Nazer, like Victor, um, Orlando Lucchesi, uh, oh, sorry, he's getting tagged. Vlasic Karkas, um, congratulations, brother, on selling the Red Rocket. Did you know the Red Rocket got yeah, sold? Man, they sold it. it, it Did he fucking sell it to you or? Why are you, why are you giving it? <laughs> nah, I don't have a plan that, but no. Here we no, go. Hey, what a car for its time and what a car even by today's standards, man. Absolutely, man. What Bad a little small block in that LS, man. Um, feed's been awesome this time, Tigers. Thank you, sir. We, 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 we've got to thank Matt McCarthy's missus for sorting out the sound issue because <laughs> I spent um, nearly a thousand bucks to do it and she did it with a uh, free set of headphones from Apple. Um, are any big hitters <laughs> going to Benarabi? Well, we're going to find that out soon from Mr McCarthy. Small tie leaf to the front. Sam Nays of Barrow of the World. Now, guys, I hear... Barrow of the World. I hear you're about the Barrow of the World. Like and share, like and share. Don't get me started. Keep this like and sharing. This is an amazing episode here, 176 at the moment. Don't get me started. Now... Anyway. I want you to confirm that you may be involved in the rumour mill. Yeah, this is the rumour mill. Rumour mill, rumour mill. Um, that Barrelos may be involved in a VL, surprise, surprise, that may be getting a Barra. Yeah, I don't believe that's happening. <laughs> it <laughs> that, may be happening, but it sure as hell ain't got me with it. Uh, I'm going off it against Barras, I, mate. I hear you're all over mate. that. Nah, man. I don't know, mate, where that come from. but I know. hear a buddy of yours. Buddy of mine. A buddy of yours is looking for What's a... What's a buddy? What does that mean, a buddy? Uh, uh, he's a... Everybody's ringing up a buddy. I had a guy ringing up some of your buddy telling me to GF. I said, when you come down, mate, make the tooth fairy. You know what I mean? But No, seriously. No, old Jake's a silent. Who's that? Who's saying that shit? Look, I hear there's, a, that coming there's a buddy of yours yeah. that um, that's looking for a white V or Commodore. And put a barrow in it. He wants to put a barrow in it. Listen, we ain't doing no Graham Harrison stuff, man, back there. Like <laughs> red wheels, if barrows are that. So if happening. you want to see the it other side. Hold on, that. hold on, hold on, hold on. That's yeah. inbred yeah. stuff. Hold on. That's nearly as bad as a guy that had a VN Commodore yeah. with a 351 Cleveland in it. <laughs> Think about what I'm telling you. <laughs> Does anybody know who that is? I'm sure they know. It's been around forever. Oh, man. Yeah, they opened this bonnet, a VN Commodore, pink, and it was a 351 Cleveland in it. Next question. Anyway, I hear you're involved with it. Um, so it's happening definitely, apparently. So you'll be treating it. It's used to me, mate. <laughs> Any opportunity is the land backstrap, mate. Danny, Danny, Danny. Yeah, Danny it's happening. Danny's having a Danny laugh. knows, Danny knows. Danny lands Danny, mate. Yep. Um, Mr. Spot on. Spot on there. Very good. Okay, so we just heard uh, from Steve Bazzano. Fantastic. Steve, thanks again for your time. A uh, very key point there was about how supportive his wife was. We covered this off last, uh, last week. So, guys, uh, drag racing is probably the most taxing sport when it comes to sorry, money. Fa- sorry, fast as being ever with a Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that's a couple good. of tough A-streeters back in the day, man. Anyway, that is yeah. correct. That is correct. Oh. I'm doing a 430 cubic inch in an LX Tirana. 
Is that a Ford in a Tirana? Oh, geez, Barry Gee, Neville. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Barry Neville. Sure as all any mind. Like Ray said talking. it's happening and you know about it. He knows on the plates. Jeez. 100%. Can you get it confirmed? I don't know. These guys are having convos in between. I don't know. Barry the world. Kineza on the plate. Kineza on the plates and all. That means Chinese on the plates and all. Oh no. Oh man, I don't know. Is that who I think it is? I'm not going there. Jeez. Anyway, that, go. that's They're the going. news. There's a radial VL coming out with a barrier engine. Oh man. Here Craig Everly, you better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, mate. Craig Everly's made some power up there at JW's, mate, in the last week. My God. He's J-Dub tuning it now. My God, they went out there, a bit of a test session there uh, two weeks ago and a uh, bit of data. And, oh, man, get ready for that thing. All righty. Well, uh, let's see who our next guest is. Uh, I think we were going to bring on Craig Lewis. So where is uh, yeah. Craig? Oh, what was that about? Hopefully Craig we still Lewis got it right. Yeah, we're going to add Craig in a sec. Another Cortina man. Another Cortina, yeah, but this guy's crazy. This guy's lost the plot. Um, this guy... Yeah, it's has, definitely eight cylinders in that no, Cortina, this mate. guy has lost the plot. Actually, I think let's, I remember a race between him and Justin Wilkinson. Mate. Let's just get on here, because this guy... Um, this guy took uh, is taking radio racing to the next uh, level. Uh, Fuel Tech fucked the world. Yeah, uh, Steve Bazina is running an FT600 at the moment, so... Uh, they've got the records, boys. He's like and share, please. He's like and share. Let's get those numbers up. Like and share. We're just trying to add Craig Lewis. Craig, if you're there, accept. Thank you, Sam. We're trying our best, mate. To uh, Fox to... Body Killer. Yep. Aren't they nice, those Fox Body? Absolutely. Man. Like and share, guys. I want to see all those likes and we shares happening. We love That's Real it. Let's speed. get those little likes happening. Likes and share, like and share. Rob. How are you, Rob? Welcome to the show, man. We've just had uh, Steve Bazina on. We're just waiting for Craig Lewis. Sam um, Nasser, the terror world. To to join us, Sam. Come so and join us, mate. There's a lot of out there, isn't there? Barras in LS is unbelievable what's happened in the last couple of years. No answer from Craig. If Craig's <coughs> on the call. <laughs> Let's retry. Get him on there. We'll try again. I wonder if he's going to go through order. Like I said, it's just, you know, probably a bit of hot air, mate, you know. These guys no, are... I actually think that feels happening, I'll be oh, honest mate, with you. It's bloody news to me. Uh, Craig, if you're there, mate, give us a uh, give us a thing. Like and share. Thanks, Speedy. Matt McCarthy's just joined. Thank you, Matt. We've just had uh, Steve Bazina on, mate. Cameron DeMarcy, um, Victor Barra of the world. Jeez. Craig Lewis. Yes, These absolutely. Let's bring him on. Craig Lewis, approve. And we're going to get Craig on now. This guy here's got a Cortina, but uh, the, the game didn't stop there. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> going. You can maybe run us a bit of a timeline as to how it started. Yeah, absolutely. We're just adding him now. G'day, Rob. Where are all the VKs? Where are all the VKs? <laughs> <laughs> Which VKs? Or your VKs? I don't have any VKs. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Vic, no blinger. Never. Vic anymore. <laughs> His insurance He's company rang and they said it was too heavy. Yeah. Get it My off your head. My traps are getting a bit sore, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that big, man, you know. Absolutely. Thanks, Nick. Uh, Peter Palekas is on. Just had a message from Steve. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for everything. Love your work. Uh, Steve, we want to thank you for your time, man, and congratulations again on, on, on your records. And, um, and we wish you every success, mate, like we do every radio racer, um, and especially the ones that support us as well. Speaking of radio, did you see Peter Palekas watching there? He's got a nice X... What is it, XT Falcon? Mr Palekas has decided Naturally, to join the King drag Harbour racing world again. He ran pretty fast. 10 ones there last week. Man, Craig... I think we're like an old buddy of ours. Well, an old buddy. He's a buddy of ours. He's involved there. What's his name? Did you call him an old buddy? Old buddy. Nah. Good old uh, Coyote, mate. Did you call Still? Good old Still, Still mate. Just keep worrying there, mate. Played around with that car. Got that thing going, mate, on those two fifty fives for an NA thing. Yeah. Tough streak like that, Jeez, man. Anyway, where is uh, where is he, mate? Where is Pro two seven five? Where is he? I'm waiting. Oh, Guys, if you're going to join, please make sure you're on your mobile. Craig Please. wants to be on the video. Yeah, so I'm going to approve. Let's see if this works. Make sure you've got your headphones on, Craig. Thanks, Steve. There we go. Headphones on. Hey. You got headphones, Craig? I think... Can you oh, hear us? Working? Yeah, I think his internet... Uh, it's working now, mate. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, good. Do you have the do good, you good. Have, do you have the AirPods? Oh, I'm, I'm going to Yes, ah, I do. Very good. So guys, if you're joining yeah. us, the uh the, it's been tested by Mr. Craig Lewis. The new Apple AirPods work as well as headphones. So don't be shy. 
Um, Craig, thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks for having me, boys. So we can see Pro. Good to be a part of it. We can see Pro Two Seven Five in the background, but brother, um, the reason I got you on is because I believe there's going to be a bomb dropped on the whole radio world in Australia. <laughs> that bomb is in the shape of a uh, fox body Mustang, um, which I'm sure we'll see the Pro Two Seven Five plates on that fox body. But can you please explain to the broader community how you're going to suck in the track through the massive blower that I saw on the front of that engine? <laughs> Um, and what damage you are seeking to do to the radio <laughs> community? Oh, I don't know about damage, but we'll try. Um, it's only a small block, so we'll, we'll see what we can do. But Marty's, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully the Marty Steiner's got a we'll small block. We'll he runs 370. Next question. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, tell us, mate, yeah. how did the Mustang come to be? <laughs> and, um, and what's the progress? We saw all the bar work, um, which uh, looks... Looks fantastic. Engine's yeah, in there. Yep. Shoot. Yep. Tell us, is it there now? Yep. No, it's not here, dude. It's still mm -hmm. down the fab shop at Pro Street Industries. Um, he's doing the floor now, mounted the seat. Wow. Tunnels all in, firewall. So, yeah, it's come along really quick, actually. He's he's had his head down and ass up. So, and uh, tell it. us... It's good. Can you tell us a Cannot bit about the combo, or it's a uh, secret? The no, nah, the engine is a four twenty seven inch Proline built Windsor water block, uh, Holly ECU throughout wow. F three Pro Charger, glide float wow. rear end, yeah, yep. Tremaniac, um, I got Matt McCarthy to make me a full billet intake for it, sixteen injectors. So, so tell yeah. us, Craig, nah, should be good. What's the goal? Um, and tell, be good. Can you tell everyone what the best that Pro two seven fives run so far in the Cortina? Cortina's gone 750 at 189 over the quarter and uh, 480 at 164, right. I think. Wow, fantastic. So that very tough combination in itself, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot more in it, dude. We just can't keep the front end down and there's nowhere to put weight in it. So, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> Hence why yeah, I bought another car. one that's going to decimate everyone. So, um, mate, we, we, saw, we, <laughs> oh, saw the, we saw the Mustang there. Um they're obviously a proven combination on radials. Yep. Um, Proline built engine, Tremaniac, yes. Tremaniac yep. uh, manifold, um, Holly ECU. Yep. Who's involved with the car, mate? Oh, well, there's Matt, who's building the car. He also crews for me with his young bloke, Josh. Always with me with a Cordy. Uh, Con from Wollongong Autos tunes the Cortina. Okay. He'll be tuning Excuse the Mustang me. as well. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, so, so Con from Wollongong Automotive Services, guys, if, if you don't know who Con is, uh, please look him up. Um, he's got various record-setting cars out there. Um, he's got the Snickers car that he was tuning for Perry Bullivan. He's tuning Grubby's car. Um, he's tuning Craig Lewis's car. Um, he's, I think, involved with Craig Burns' uh, car. As, from, I mean, those guys are close anyway. Um, I don't know. He's obviously got another 10 cars out there. But if you haven't, guys, go to Wollongong Automotive Services. Uh, look up Con and what he does because, uh, as you can see, uh, Craig's got some uh, fantastic results, but there's some big heavy hitters out there as well. Um, <clears throat> Craig, tell me, what's the timeline that you're looking for? Are you going to try and be at the Kenda event in June um, or September? What's the? I know what you want to do is um, tomorrow, but what's the what's the what's the goal looking like? <laughs> I'm going to try for the Grudge Kings, but I can't see it happening. I don't want to rush Matt. He's been at it like non-stop he's only I think he's only had the car six months but um yeah depends how it falls together buddy that's that's yeah but radial ride if not if it doesn't make radial ride. Okay, so radio definitely ride. that's it i'm flat out with work i'm flat out with work at the moment as well so Craig, hard, what, but, what are you yeah. talking about? everything's all lined up once one's finished the next part's finished you go to powder coat then we'll go to paint then we'll get wired yeah what, what do together. you do uh every day to um to pay for this uh, sickness that we have, or repair hail damaged oh, right. cars, okay. paint or stent removal, what's, basically. What's, yeah, so tons of work yeah. in Sydney, as you probably what's know. What's your business called, mate? <laughs> eco Dent uh, Solutions. Eco Dent Solutions. And how can how, yeah. how how can people reach yes. you, mate? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Facebook page. Okay. We've got a Facebook page solely for that, so they can contact e me through eco that. Eco Dent Solutions. Um. Yeah, but. <laughs> Yeah, don't try and contact me because I'm flat out with hail with a contract and do an insurance company. So, yeah, 
I'm going to need time for the when little you, things. Uh, <laughs> when you slow up, man, I've got the GDS who cops some hail, so I'm going to need you to uh, do some hail repairs. <laughs> yeah, really? I copped yeah, it. No I copped it, man. We'll, we'll sort it out. Bonnet, the no bonnet problem. and the boot copped it. So, uh, guys, we've got Yeah, Craig Lewis everyone's on. copped it. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. We've got Craig Lewis on. He's got Pro 275 Cortina, um, and he's building uh, one badass Fox Body Mustang here in Australia as well. So, um, it's being built, not bought. Um, what's going to happen to the Cortina when the Fox Body's out? Well, the original goal was to buy a roller and put all the running gear in it. Right. But it's come about, and it had the combo already done. The motor was fresh. Uh, Pro Charge is fresh. Box is fresh. So I'm just going to keep it in street trim for now and have it as a backup. Unless someone's got the money, they can buy it. But, yeah. <laughs> Well, that, I think I kicked myself if that happened, but yeah. Well, there you go, guys. For the right money. <laughs> Me misses will kick me ass too. <laughs> yeah, uh, those investments don't get repaid in the racing game, but um, but look, it's 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 hard to let go of a car, no. guys. You heard it. If uh, if anyone really wants it, well, cash talks and um, Craig's ready to listen. Um, if the uh, if the price is right, come on down. <laughs> is that how it works? Just run us just run us quickly <laughs> through the engine in yes. the Cortina. Uh, Proline Andy Combo, dark block, 363-inch, uh, Bryant crank, Holly ECU, twin 70 mil precisions. Yeah, there's no 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 shortage of money spent on it. And what's that colour? It's a smoke is, at the end of the track. Is that, is that a special colour that you made up, or is that is that often? Uh, it's a basic, it's a standard Commodore. Really, it looks amazing, metallic. man. Metallic. Yeah. Yeah, no, Absolutely. it does. It looks really it good. It suits the car. Well, um, is there anywhere that people can go to get any updates on your um, Mustang, or you're keeping it, keeping it, uh, whatever you release? Or oh, I sort of keep it under wraps until it's until it's on the ground and sort of put together. Because as you know, six months in the build, surface rust on roll cages room forever bright. down there with yeah, the yeah, yeah. sheet cleaning it off. So yeah, Scotch Brine, that um, what do you call it? That yeah, it yeah. stops it from rusting. I can't think of the word for it now, but works really good. So yeah, once once it's on the ground and then trim's done, well, oh, I've converted okay. to right end drive as well. So Sydney Composites done nice. done a carbon dash for me for it, which come out sweet. Mm-hmm. Cost me a fortune, but it worked out good. Um, yeah, so once once it's on the ground and the floors in and the firewall's complete, we'll put some more updates. No problem. Well, up. if uh, guys, if you're interested, jump onto Craig Lewis's uh, Facebook page. There's a couple of photos there of this Mustang that um, looks as though it's going to suck the earth into it from the big Pro Charger at the front. Good to see. Um, Good to see a new combination it's out hope. there. Um, and and, small block. Uh, yeah, and it's a small block too, man. So we it's love tough. that stuff as well. Um, and Craig, we just want to thank you for supporting us in the breast cancer appeal as well. Um, you, you did whatever you could there for us too and, and, and promoted it and um, liked and shared it. So we, we appreciate everything you do in the racing game. Um, and uh, and we're looking forward to this Mustang, man. Anytime, uh, thank boys. You, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. Me, guys. We'll Have get you on again, mate. Thank you. Guys, Craig Lewis. There you have it, mate. Wow. These interviews are getting better and better, man. Yeah, mate. I think you look pretty excited, man. You had a oh, grin in your Oh, did you see that grin? Now, hold on, hold on. Honest, Barrel, you? you talk yeah, you here. You can't wait, man. I don't know if people have seen this this thing, man. Well, as we know these things, you know. I want to bring this thing up. You put a timeline in, unfortunately, you can't, you know. Something that may potentially be three months could go to six and, you know, even a year. But look... You know, who knows? You don't know what may come up. You know, oh, the VS should have been ready in December, man. But I know how these things operate, and um, and Kyle's uh, working his ass off with his business mate, and and these things uh, these things take time. So sometimes you just got to let it happen, man. That's you just got to let the uh, the process go. Yeah. Um, I just want to get We've a got shot. Ash, Ash Mason on. All right, Good to have you on, mate. Andrew. That's the Fox body. If you haven't seen it, that Craig's building. It's on his Facebook yeah, page. That, man. Guys, like and share, like and share. Like and share. Like big Daddy Dwayne, oh, man. Look Brother, look at, the, look at the blower on this Show thing. Show that man. photo there. Put it up. Man. Just... Hey, that's a, that's a dirty small block, man. Look at that. Look at that. And you know, mate, I'm into small box hard, eh? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, I, you know, these big billet things and that. Look at that. Big box. But these small box, man, geez, there's something, man. Is that crazy? Guys, that's Craig Lewis's new combo. So, Pro 275. If you haven't seen it, you've seen it now. There you if go. you've seen it before, look you've seen that. it again. That's got a Tremaniac uh, manifold on it from Matt McCarthy there. And uh, everything's tuned. 
and organised by Con from Wollongong Automotive Services, which I mentioned before. With a Holly system on board. He made it's got a Holly in fight. Oh, there he is. Mr. Uh, 199.9999 <laughs> <laughs> uh, has 199.8 anyway. <laughs> Todd O'Leary, I don't recognise Craig without a Corona. Oh, okay. <laughs> is, is Craig meant to always drink Coronas? Well done, Craig. We're going to send Bring him it some on Coronas. Mustang. Yeah, man, that's a crazy car. That's Kaylee. Cra crazy car there. Steve um, Smith, spot on performance of lubrications, number one. For anyone that misses... Uh, Where are we there? Daniel Whitcock. If anyone missed... Uh, there's Craig with a Corona. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez man like and share guys like and share so we've had steve bazena on unbelievable uh, interview there another unbelievable interview with uh with uh beautiful craig lewis there man with the pro 275 car and, and he's got the mustang looks like the fan that calls down the trans in the pits brother that blower that blower is <laughs> gonna rob suck will, will he's written will suck up a, a small <laughs> yeah i was oh. just gonna say that rob there, bro. oh That's man like that thing mate it's no boring ahead. Now, right, Gorilla mate. Speedy, uh, I hear on the grapevine you're building a diff for this VL that's going to cop a barra that barrel loss is tuning. What? I don't know about what. what what's the go with Hooten? Ain't there anything I'm Can you tell us about the owner, mate? What are you talking about? Bro, VL with barras. Look, start, I, get on, mate. What's this about? This ain't no John West tuner. You're the tuner here. I'm the tuner John West rejected, mate. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's just going to. So yeah. guys, like and share, like and share. So uh, our next guest, I think, is going to be Matt McCarthy. But um, yeah, um, nothing beats a small just, block. Look just at that. A just a fantastic. I'm with you, Stephen. Like and share, guys. Like and share. Look at that, cranking it up. Um, yeah, I don't know about this view with the barrel thing. Now, jeez, man, I don't even know what's in my head, man. Jeez, I got nothing against it, eh? But it's not for me, you know. Not everybody likes a big Mac. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Guys, I'm Sometimes just, like Giros. Guys, I've just been added to a Facebook. New 235 Radial Convert Online. Thanks, they're all good stuff, mate. Gorilla Speedy, he's written Dingay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, some little messages. Well, I've been added to a Facebook page here and... Yep, what's that all about? My phone's been going off the hook, you look at this. Bro. Who's this? Sounding good guys tonight. Will you cover there, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, I'll have to get back to them. Listen, man, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna expose anyone here, right? But um, if anyone's got a problem uh, that a girl in a '86 um, Toyota is kicking people's ass and is the fastest um, sports compact import radial in the world, and it's tuned by a Brisbane-based business, um, and Building you have house, a problem with that person, well, mate, I'm gonna expose you, and I'm gonna expose you for everything that's happened, mate. So you. Just be careful on how you operate and how you treat people. Anyway, I'll, uh, I don't know, um, what's that you've got there? Look at that. What's that? 22 people in a group. What, what is that? What's the story there? Dude, I, I don't know. I've just, I've just been added to this group. Um, who's on there? I'll tell you what. Sorry, my phone's going off. There's, 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 leave that. Anyway, look, I'm going to leave that for now because I don't want to wreck the, uh, the episode, but, uh, Glenn Davies, welcome, man. We've had, uh, Steve Bazina on. We've had a few things on, uh, I'm going to read this message here and, um, there's about there's about 400 messages and nah, 22 people in this group, so I don't know what's going on there, but well, I'll, I'll get to the bottom of it. I just saw someone having a go at Nikki. So, um, look, guys, I've said it before. This isn't the JW and Six Boost show, and I support everyone. I've, I've just been giving uh, Dandy Engines a huge rap. Um, no, we from not have to go through it. We can, no, no, no. It but, goes without saying, but, but if but someone, listen, listen, if someone's got an issue... Press here, get on the you know what? now. Uh, get on now. I, I'm just... Um, get on now. I don't like bullying, guys. Don't bully, man. It's not nice to bully people, man. And and don't and don't try and bully a girl, no, man. if you don't like whoever, that's fine. That's racing. Anyway, yeah. look, I, I don't know. I don't but know why I was If you're going to carry on on these public forums and stuff mm. like that and be a keyboard warrior, well, you know... Anyway, I'll, you do something, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to start. I don't want to get into that. Let's like and share, guys. Let's get our next guest on because I'm pretty amped up at the moment. And if I expose yeah. someone now, mate, sometimes, uh, sometimes people get lucky. Uh, let's bring uh, Matt McCarthy on because uh, Matty's going to do the around the grounds here, and uh, and he's going to tell us more about that Tremaniac uh, manifold. I don't know. We might need one of those sort of BS, man. Get, That's get him good. on there. I just seen Craig Lewis there say something. Oh, what happened? Hold on. I think he's on the Coronas, mate. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry about I'm the out bullshit. of Coronas. No, oh, no, he's out of Coronas. There you go. Somebody send that man a slap. Nick Zaraki, we've got the Valiant in the background, man. Uh, Vic's hoping to get both wheels off the ground with your combo for that. Oh, they're day, both so. off, mate. We want to drag the bumper, <laughs> Zaraki said. Drag that mofo bumper, barrel off. That's it, man. Andrew Maxwell, we're nobody's two men. Uh, we've got haters all over the country, Shane brother. Don't worry about that. that. He's a sick cunt, isn't he? 
Excuse my friend. Vic loves everyone, even us Crusader drivers. Well, I was saying, Craig, mate, we used to go to the Brother, old town. We used to go to the private meets together back Brother, in 07, man. My first time I raced my car was at Shane's private meet. Yeah. Um, anyway. Shane's got one one bad Crusader out there. If you don't yeah. know who he's either, man, where you've been. Um, um, good stuff. Cindy, thanks for, for liking the show. Adapto New South Wales, glad we're uh, glad we're, we're, we're expanding our reach there. Um, no, we don't have to explain ourselves, boys. We're, we're nobodies. Uh, we understand that. We don't try and be um, the uh, the official spokespeople for racing at all. Uh, we've got a, a small show here that uh, you know we've uh, we've been um, just building up the radio racing. And and I was actually listening to. There's a very famous guy out there. His name's Pro Stock Joe. Um, he used to be a pro stock racer, and he's uh, he's probably the grandfather of uh, grudge racing in the US. And Smack uh, Talk. And Smack Talk. Uh, Smack Talk TV. Go and check him out, Smack Talk TV. Um, but he, he was actually saying something on his show the other day which, which resonated with me, which was, we're not doing this for us. Like, we don't get any money from this. Um, Muscle Cars and Speedies, they help us with our our cars personally, but we've known them for years, um, and they're even giving money into the sport, right? Well, they're but, doing everything. But what we're free, trying to do, so there's a, there's 155 people here that are going to like and press the like and share button in a minute, right? But for everyone that comes on here, so Steve Bazzina was on here, right? That is a potential opportunity. There's 155 people watching. One of those could be a potential sponsor or know a potential sponsor that says, you know what? I want to sponsor that blue XW that's breaking records in Australia, and I want to bring money onto the sport, right? So when we are... <laughs> um, a, sorry, we're just, gonna, hold there's on. been a bloody call out. All right. There's, wait, just keep going. Anyway, we'll anyway, going all right. I'll get to McDessie. Um, but no, it's I, about being united. But, but I'll tell you what, guys. The show is not for anything but to bring money and, and, and interest into the sport. And if by any chance... There's someone who watches this or gets sent this feed that knows, that somebody, knows someone that know that has a business that correct. wants to drop 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200. Some people get a million dollars, right, um, in sponsorship, right, and, and then try and, and, and run run results. Um, any sponsorship in the sport is why we're doing this. We're trying to grow the profile. And if you don't like it, tune out. If you do like it, like and share it because we're trying to give everyone here a voice. And as you can see, we're getting more and more people on. If right. there's something you don't like, let us get know. On. Yeah, let us know. If you if if there's something in the racing scene you don't like, if you don't like our faces, we'll press the unsubscribe button and piss off, man. Um, there is a guy in WA. I'm going to catch up with. Uh, uh, I'm going to catch up with him. I'm going to I'm going to have to catch up with this wanker. But anyway, who's that way? Uh, he's just a. Anyway, I don't want to swear because we're trying to keep it all. Uh... Does he run the car at least? Now, uh, just before we get McCarthy on, does his mouth run faster? McDessy, when it's racing, man, I'll, I'll race you, bro. No problem. Yeah, mate, he's called us out, man. What are we going to do? Mate, this Thousand bloke in his, in his Valiant, he's calling out this Commodore 275, <laughs> man. Like, come on, man. Like, I'm a Valiant bloke. Like, I'll, know, ra like, I'll race on 275. Can we get the back tire stuffing? Like, no, let's give, see what's going to happen. Give me the back tire, McDessie, with the... Uh, what, what are you running now? Like, 590s or something, bro? Where, no, where, 630s, man. He, no, they're running. Right, they're right, running. That, that's really old Valiant, mate. That ain't hanging around, mate. But you know what? No I'll, to the front, brother. I'll race anyone, bro. I'm not scared of anyone, man. So, uh, and McDessie, you're a champion, brother. And uh, it'll be a pleasure and an honour to race you, man. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'll put that on the call-out list. Steve bazuna has got back, Mike. Back. Hold on. He's got Mike Selby with a big question mark. Yeah, oh, man. That Mike boat. Selby, I'm calling you out. I hope, mate. I hope everything's good with Steve Bazina, man. Mike Selby. Jeez. Steve, if it's not good, man, let us know. Because uh, I can tell you, Chris Sorters, mate. That guy, he's the real deal, yeah, mate. Chris Sorters. He, he does what he says and he... Yeah. And he Says what he means. So, anyway, great show, guys, give a great show. Thank you. Whoever it might, whoever you can't it is, might, you. might like men only. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, Doug, mate, well, you got I, it, mate. If I let uh, you know, bro, let me start anyway. that stuff on here, mate. There's, you know, there's a few, other things. There's a few people that like beating up on uh, on Nikki Hepper, man. But I gotta tell you, man, she's gonna hurt listen, a lot of people. Hey, listen, if you got, has, listen, if you got the balls, man, just step next to her, mate. Line her up, blow her doors off, and that's it, man. Don't talk shit on a on a forum, man. Yeah. Don't be a keyboard warrior. I'm just telling it how it is. If you want, come on here, man, and let everybody know, man. What's the story, man? What, what's the issue? What man? the beef is? Oh, look, I don't know what the beef is, man. Yeah. But uh, disappointing, disappointing. That come on, man. Stuff. Run your car, run, not your mouth. Look, happy for people to run their mouth. Just they've got to back it we up. We don't man. mind a bit of smack talk. We don't mind a bit of banter. But you know, there's one thing having a dig and carrying on, and and you know what? And for no apparent reason, well, you know, I mean. Do you want me to start booting up on on you, man? You know what I mean? I mean, we can do that. You know what I mean? Oh, there's and I'm not talking here. You know what I mean? Like, do the right No, thing. we'll go face, face to face with people. We don't, we don't, we don't mind that. Uh, Danny McDessie, keep up the great work. Uh, Danny, I want to thank you for all your support, mate, and um, and uh, and everything you do in the racing scene. Um, 
uh, Custom Body Works guys, uh, if you need um, your show piece to stand out, um, if uh, if you want to uh, make a statement, you need to go and see Danny at Custom Body Works. Uh, where's Danny based these days, Vic? Oh, you got me now. No, oh, okay. Danny, what, well, Danny, can you put your address uh, up, please, and, uh, and just the website, man, so people can check it out. Um, guys, please, uh, if, if you're in the New South Wales region, or if, if, even if you're across the country uh, and you want Danny to spray your car, he's got... Uh, He's got an amazing ability there, and uh, I don't think there's been a customer who's come out who uh, who hasn't been happy, man. So um, the results and trophies, mate, everywhere. Uh, oh man, it's so uh, those race cars, it's 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 amazing. The guy just absolutely loves it, mate. Mike and I go way back, many deals together on XW and XYZ. Oh, okay, okay, okay. as long as he's all right, man. There you go, mate. You're yeah, here. Oh, I'll put it out there, man. He's uh, he, he he doesn't give away much, that's for sure, uh, Mr. Selby. But anyway. One run what you bring, it's simple. Yeah, look, um, a lot of people say that, but they also run their mouths, and then they don't, uh, and they don't like it when they get smacked back down. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going to refrain from 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 getting stuck into anything right now until I can uh, really understand what's going on. I might just be a little bit of smack talk, and maybe I'm over, ex I'm over exaggerating. Uh, I'll get the, I'll, I'll got the look and the tuner and fabricator. Give me a hundred bucks plus. I'll mess everyone up and have a good time doing it. Stephen Smith, he's gonna go Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> Climb a legs, man. Oh, nah, man. look, it's good that we've got support and oh, stuff. Oh, look, oh, I mean, look, all like jokes, all, all like jokes aside, it. all jokes aside, there's no need for that stuff. Vic Guys, yellow teeth. Did you get Vic yellow teeth? teeth. Hold on, custom body works, mate. I'll just give him. It's Ten Cottenham Avenue, Bankstown, man. Thank you. That's it. Now, the yellow teeth, I'm going to tell you what yellow teeth's about. Did you used to smoke or something? No, nah, I don't smoke. <laughs> Only toys. Just toys. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I had an old Valiant. It was my dad's God rest his soul. It was a VF318. Everyone's probably already going, here we go, another Valiant story. But no, we're in the back of Danny's house. He's dropped the doors. He started to lay inside the engine bay, door jams, everything. What, at his house? He's spraying me like a demon. <laughs> no mask, nothing. The guy was going hammer and tong just to get it done. Quick coat. Pulls the door 15 minutes later, 15 minutes later, what do you reckon? Light turns on, Danny's smiling. Yellow teeth, man. <laughs> Yellow teeth, man. Hey, look at your teeth, mate. Unbelievable. True story, mate. Jeez, I don't know what the thinnest tasted like getting it off, but no, Danny got it done, mate. That guy, uh, yeah. Danny gets it done, done, that's for sure. Right. On the, on the Sartar jet. I don't know what he's using these days. Danny Lowther, Stephen's partying tonight. Absolutely, party time. Let's get the party man himself, but uh, he's back right off it these days. Where's McCarthy? Uh, no, McCarthy. Let's get him. <laughs> It's getting yeah, on McCarthy here. McCarthy's doing like it. dry a year, you know, not even dry July. Let's get these uh, headphones on. Jeez, man. We've got a special announcement too, I think, at the end. Do we? Yep. Matty. Yo, yo, yo. How are you all going? Yo, yo. Brother, hey, we've got, we got to shout you and your missus out to dinner, bro. You just named the restaurant. We're going to have to send a $100 <laughs> voucher, bro. You uh, totally yeah. said that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll let her know. Cheers, guys. I'll just, Cheers. I'll I'll, uh, I'll have to get Jay Dub to give you some cash when you see him next, mate, because uh, you've uh, you've saved the show, mate, and uh, and we've got we've got uh, the Matt McCarthy uh, radio around the grounds, Matty. Um, I've just seen a bit of a message here. People are back and forth uh, having a bit of a dig at Nicky Hepburn, but we'll get into that uh, next uh, episode once I've uh, got my head around the mate. But um, tell me, mate, yep. how are you? And what are yeah, you hearing I'm, around the traps, mate? I'm really I'm I'm, I'm really well, thanks, guys. But yeah. Um... I don't know. I was just listening to all the all this uh, smack talk and not being able to back it up and all the rest of the stuff. And I, I don't know what you're all talking about, but um, <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty funny. You gotta love you gotta love social media and all that goes with it. <laughs> oh, okay. dude! Uh, you know the, the internet was born, and then people just thought, just put it out there, and don't worry about what it means. Just put it out there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, I, 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 I've probably been a I've probably been a little bit quiet lately, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I oh, will. Yeah, for good reason. It was like uh. You, you, you talk the talk, you've got to walk the walk. So, um, mm. yeah, once, it, once the mouth stops, the, the tools have got to start working. And, um, yeah, you've got to, put your, got to put your thinking cap on and, and get the job done. So, yeah. Well, oh, mate, we, yeah. Saw you, we saw you make a beautiful manifold there for Craig Lewis. Uh, yeah, that was – yeah, that's um, – yeah, that's just – I mean, we've, we've made a fair few manifolds now at work. So, um, with, with Aaron and, and, um, and whatnot. So, I mean, we do a lot, do a lot of custom custom um, manifolds for people, and um, mm. yeah, it's enjoy it's enjoyable, you know. Like, uh, I mean, I start, I started my career as a repetition engineer, so uh, that, that that was like making thousand widgets. So to to make one offs and a lot of custom stuff, it's a it's a it's it's really enjoyable. It's exciting. Tell me, uh, Matty, uh, Benarabi's coming up, bro. Are you getting ready for that? What do you hear on the grapevine? Um, who's sort of heading out and 
Mate, I heard something about Willow Bank um, for the Winter Nationals doing radials. Can you uh, shed any light on that? Did you hear anything like that today, or no? Oh no, nah, I haven't. I, no, I haven't heard. I haven't heard. Um, I haven't heard much at all, man. <clears throat> I haven't really been. Right, um, right. I, I, I get. I guess there's um, been some other things. I guess that have been probably um, st- stealing the limelight around the world at the moment. So, um, I, yeah. As, in terms of um, what's going on at Willow Bank and uh, and what I, 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 the first, the first, it was all news to me when you first, you guys first spoke of it earlier. So yeah, I, I don't know what's going on for the winners. Yeah, I, I, I received the message that um, that Willow Bank could be looking at it for the winters, mate, which is fantastic uh, to, to hear, and it just shows how how powerful the radial scene's getting in Australia, man. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely, yeah. So yeah, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. It would be it would be awesome if they if if that was to um, to eventuate, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, wait and see. But uh, yeah, I've already I've already wrote myself off for the Winter Nationals. I'm actually going to go away on a on a fishing trip. With uh with my dad, so uh, I've put that off for a few years now by going to the Winter Nationals. So this year I'll I'll sit this one out and I'm I'll do all the Kenda rounds and yes and uh, the answer to your question is I'll definitely be at Benarabi. Um, uh, I know uh, Brett Brett Benz is racing, Michael Armour is racing. As for everyone else, wow. I, I don't know. I, 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 I guess yeah, I guess now when I got that message and round the grounds, I, I probably should have done a little bit more research. <laughs> no, nah, you're you're right. Got a bit efficient. <laughs> Next episode, you need to do some fishing for everyone because uh, we're going we're to have you on for Around the Grounds where uh, Maddie can tell us a little bit about who's who's at the race scene. But um, Benarabi for Kenda is on the 27th of April, guys. Um, please enter. Uh, support the regional tracks if you can. If you can travel there, if, uh, if you can get some time off work, um, it's going to be an amazing event in April. I hear there's been some upgrades at Benarabi as well, Matt, um, from everything that everyone's saying. And the track's pretty fucking killer, man. Yeah, the track. Yeah, the, the track's definitely got a lot of potential. I know last year that I, I was there, I sort of really didn't. I really didn't have uh, have my act together. And um, anyway, we, did, we we had we had fun more than anything. So that was that was the main thing. Like Benarabi is one of those rounds where everyone sort of really gets to socialise. You camp, everyone stays. Well, a lot of people stay at the track the night, so you interact or you know interact interact. You know, one or two nights in a row, you know, in a row. So everyone, it's it's a good it's a good atmosphere, and it's good it's a good thing. It's good for all the racers to actually get to know each other, and um, yeah, yeah it's that, that so more, know, more than I anything. I but, but... Sorry, I don't know who Naked Jesus is, but someone's going to fill me in on that one day. Ah, oh, yeah, there was some there was some dude that ran down the track with his bloody jocks on or something with a Kenda flag uh, at at the last meeting. I don't know. Then the, you would get, that, you get, would you that get, have you, been anyone with a blue bullet or, or no? No, no, no. It was just some random dude. But you know what the village idiots are like. They always come up with some sort of story. <laughs> hey? uh, oh, now listen. I, you know? I, 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 was in, I, I, I was in the staging lanes and, and running, down, running down the track naked at the same time. I'm a pretty clever man. Oh, okay, you're a clever man. Okay, so um, Simon O'Carroll will be at Benarabi. Um, we've got some questions. Will you be at Jambo on the 30th? Um, who else we got? Uh, Shane will we'll cover that off. Ash Mason will be at Benarabi on the uh, 21st of April, which uh, 27th of April, sorry. Um, Nick Harvey. Nick Harvey, Harvey from, from Benarabi. Benarabi. Hey, Matt. Uh, okay, so there's some other people that know about Naked Jesus, so hopefully someone will fill me in. Uh, Brett Armstrong, <laughs> Benarabi Rocks. Um, so, look, it looks as though there's going to be <laughs> quite a few um, Kenda races. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Quite a few Kenda races at the at the Benarabi event, which is fantastic. And we've got, uh, I think, Justin Simpson just joined us as well, which is fantastic. Um, and and we had a good chat with uh, with Justin um, also. Uh, and Justin's I've already mentioned about the uh, the traction compound. Um, but guys, 27th of April, Benarabi. Um, go and see Matt McCarthy and all the Kenda races if you can be there, um, because it's a it's a very family orientated event. Everyone's sort of camped out there. Um, everyone's enjoying the local. Uh, the local uh, entertainment um, and, and the local food and stuff, so that's always good. Um, yeah. Matty, what's your prediction for Benarabi, mate, uh, for the Bluebird? Um, well, <laughs> hopefully better than well, hopefully what, better your... than hopefully better than last year. Um, it's a it's what's a hard track. It, it's a hard track to. It, oh well, I'd love to PB there. I'd love to PB okay. for the, for the track. I've raced there. I've raced there a fair few times now. So. Um, you know, to come away from there faster than you have ever before means that you're you're heading in the forward direction. So, 
you know, anything, anything, uh, anything quicker than I've run there before, I'll be a happy man. So, and uh, you know, it's you got it's it's one of those tracks you don't know what you're going to get until you get there. It's it's um, it's yeah, and and we've been um graced with being able to run on some really really killer tracks down here lately. So, I don't know, I don't know. It's 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 a hard one to predict. It's a hard one to predict whether we're going to have that same race surface as we had just a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's 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 a hard one. So, but the main thing is, um, at any ra- like any race meet, like uh, you know, when I go to a race meet, it's not about running. It's not necessarily about running PVs. If you do run a PV, that's well, uh, you know, give your, give give all the people, you know, yourself and all the people that help you a bit of a pat on the back. But PVs mm-hmm. don't win. Ra- PVs don't win race meets. So, I mean, it's all about consistency. You just got to go there and and work sure. out what's what what you can get down the track. And um, you know, I guess the car on race day is going to be as fast as you can possibly make it. And um, mm. yeah, like yeah. So, I mean, I I, I everyone probably thinks um I sort of leaps and bounds of that last race meeting, but like I had a I had a little I had a little um little problem with the car and and it didn't shed light till. Till when it did, and um, it sort of, sort of pretty wasted, pretty much. Well, I pretty much well sort of wasted a year of, a year of racing. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, we, we started with a clean sheet that last race meet, and we'll just, we'll just move forward. And yeah, I don't know. I like, um, I like, I like being at the pointy end, but I, I love the challenge. I love, I love, um, yeah, I love what, I love what it takes, and the, and the learn, the learning, and um, yeah, it's um. Yeah, and the and the and the and the the camaraderie between all the all the races and and the competitiveness. It's oh, you couldn't ask for anything. You can't ask for anything more. It's good. Yeah. Great. Look, and that, that's that's exactly what Benarabi is all about. And well done to Kenda and, and all the races that support it. It's a it's a regional track. Um, you, you're probably feeding people's families by by going and attending up there as well and helping out some of the regional races. Uh, we've got Th- Thea Will just joined us as well, um, Peter Papp. So, so Matty, um, Banarabi is more tuning towards the track and seeing exactly how the track prep is as a racer. Um, if you can PB, you'll PB. That's that's the goal. But we can see there's oh, a lot of Oh, that's a bonus. That's up. a bonus. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And the, and from what everyone's told me, track service is, is pretty killer. Um, and they've done mm. some upgrades on the return roads and things like that. So, so guys, if you were thinking about it, um, Matt McCarthy's always a big fan of uh, heading up to Banarabi and uh, and the Bluebird will be up there uh Trying to stay up at the pointy end of the field as it was in uh, in the first round here at uh, Willowbank Raceway, um, with amazing track prep that was done there as well. Um, Maddie, uh, any other news to report? I think on the next one um, uh, you'll have a bit more intel for us on uh, on some new cars that uh, may be uh, entering for the next round. But um, uh, that was that a no to Jambo? For me, what the what the yeah. one in two weeks time? Yes, yes. Yeah, no, I'm not running. I'm not running in Jambo in two weeks time. Okay. Yeah, cool. Nah, I'll, I'll I'll run Jamboree up here. So it's been a it's well, it's been a fair while. I think the last time I actually run it out the back door was at Grudge Kings and whenever that was. So I think you bo- yeah. you, you boys probably remember remember yeah. better than I do. But um, yeah, yeah. yeah I I'll, I'll be keen. I'll be keen to um, yeah, I'll be keen to give it a give it a run. Out. I guess I, your grassroots drag racing's always been quarter mile. So yeah, I'll be I'll be I'll be keen to um, give it a run out the back door and um, yeah, see 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 see. See, see if it's uh, see if it's still got it. <laughs> Should be good. Yeah, man. no, I'm sure you've still got it there, man. <laughs> Absolutely. And and look, um, got to say, guys, uh, Willow Bank Raceway, um, I, for me, the the most premium uh, racetrack in Australia, especially for radio racing. Um, and I'm happy to take anyone on when it comes to that because the records show. If you look at the top 25 list of radials um, in in this country, I believe uh, every single record um, has been run um, at Willow Bank Raceway. So uh, there's not really much you can say. Um, Further to that, yeah. but just, uh, sorry, to sorry interrupt. No, just quickly, just quickly, um, Michael Brennan was asking, what's the best P, uh, best PB up there, Benarabi? For your uh, car, for my car, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I, I think at one stage there, this is back. This would be back on slicks and wheelie bars would be. I think it's a, it's a it's a four four eighty. It's a mid four eighty, four eighty five or four eighty four. I think. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. I mean, like you said, you got a big handle on it last meeting there, so there's definitely. Uh, Gonna be a big shakeup. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, no, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. <coughs> see, see, we, see, we, we'll we'll start letting this uh we'll start letting this small block eat. <laughs> it hasn't had a feed hasn't had a feed for a while. <laughs> is the um, yeah. is the neighbour still pissed off at you, or, or can we start the car up? Uh, what do we got now? No, nah, we're not start. You got to get me on a get me on get me on get me on first the next one. Fuck! It's only eight forty nine in Queensland, bro. Is it? 
Yeah. No, we'll oh, right, eh? First off the bat, 8.30. It's 8.49, mm. eh? The guy's making out like it's midnight. Oh, right, eh? Hang on. Well, we're, we're going to go. Well, let's, we'll do it. <laughs> Holy. Jeez, man. Uh, I, I, Bar- Barrelos puts it on the two-step at about midnight, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you know, I've been... I, 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 without, without, <laughs> I've been... I've been getting a fair bit done without all the drama in my life, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's no need for dramas. It's 8.49. Just tell him you're just starting it up to bring oh. all the pressure up. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at this. I've got half the back off the car. I don't have me switch, but I'll find it. No, I don't Hang switch, on. Fuck. No, I got it. Here it is. Where's my head? Oh, God. There's a couple Wrong of, way. There's a couple of... There's a couple me billet, of me billet, me billet switch. No, it's on pump fuel. We're not fucking two-stepping it. <laughs> Maddie's, Maddie's gone soft. Oh, hold on, hold on. Jeez, what? These guys, Maddie's gone soft. We have to hey? support Nick our Harvey, fellow racers. Nick, Nick Harvey, Steve Wilson, Danny Led's down here. Two-step, you're gone soft. Two-step. Mate, oh, right. he's whatever. On fuel. He's on pump fuel. He's on pump I think fuel. everybody's G'd up, mate. Yeah, here we go. We'll buddy get this, make this thing hum. I don't know. <laughs> Holy, it hasn't been. It's, uh, the last time I had it running was the, the day after Riot, uh, after the, sorry, last Ken to me. Here uh, we go. I hope I, I hope I haven't put you on the spot, man. No, that's all right. It should start. Jeez, this will be embarrassing if it doesn't. <laughs> It'll take. Give it a prime. Give it a prime. <laughs> no, prime, prime it up, prime it up. I can't prime it up. It's got a mechanical pump and that's it. Do you want me to get Team Viewer on for you to help you out, or do you, you want Wi-Fi, uh, or do, like all these uh, guys got big Wi-Fi tune-ups? Yes, can Team Viewer whatever you want. <laughs> God, here we I, go. I, fucking, I, went, I, I went to see a V today, and I said to Con Elphus, I said, I'm going to fuck everyone up. He goes, what do you mean? I said, mate, I'm going to bring a Wi-Fi during my next race. They're all finished. Oh, you just make me do some silly stuff. You make me do some silly stuff. I better sit in it. Oh, God, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah sit in it. <sighs> Right, well, we got. Oh, it's on stands. Hopefully, it doesn't fall off. I think I put it on it right. So start your That's the, world, the world's <laughs> fastest blue bluebird. John. <laughs> Hang on, I'm at. No, I've got the dash unplugged. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm on zero. That'll, I'm on zero. That'll, that'll, that'll help it. Oh, I can't well, see Steve, anything with the dash unplugged. Steve, Steve said, I'll start mine, but it's a thousand kilometres away in Sydney. Far out, right? Now we are. Now we've got action. Right, yeah. I'll see if I get, once I get fuel pressure, I'll turn the ignition. <laughs> Right, uh, now we so, give it some ignition. We got we got fuel pressure. Look at that! Beautiful. That's, beautiful. Uh, that's good enough. That's tough. That's it. <laughs> no, no, thanks for that, man. We, we are, everyone, we just joined the, into the cockpit of, uh, of the Bluebird with uh, Matt McCarthy. You, we just went. Uh, I see you've got the Killing Time racing hat on, mate. Are you, uh, are you thinking that uh, Stevie's going 50s uh, this week? Oh, man. Oh, well, my money's always on Stevie Fast Jackson. Man, I love the guy. I think he's a, I think he's a legend. If I could be half a Stevie Fast Jackson, are you happy, man? Brother, I can give you the hot tip that there's a few people speaking to try and get him out to Australia. So I'll tell you that for free. Um, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha, bro. Solid. Oh, solid, solid. Uh, but thanks, thanks, Matty, for your time and thanks for starting up the Bluebird, bro. No worries, fellas. Take care, eh? We'll see you next episode. Thanks, Matty. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. Will do. Che- cheers. See you too, Sky. Thanks, see bro. ya. Bye. Catch you. Bye. Same bye. Man, bye. bye. There you have it, Matty McCarthy, mate. Oh, he's man. Hey, he's a champion. You know what? And we, <laughs> we love having him on because, um, and look, he's calmed down. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't get involved in, the, in these keyboard wars anymore. <laughs>
But we miss that sometimes, Matty. Um, geez. geez, well, the Bluebird started up, uh, primed it up, and away you go, man. That's what it's all about. Like and share, like and share. Thanks, Speedy Man. Hope you're liking the uh, the new format. Uh, now, our next guest, uh, and if you've just joined us, um, we gave an apology in the start of the show. Uh, Wade's uh, Wade Wagstaff's father was uh, rushed to hospital today just with a, a work injury, so Wade's had to uh, accompany him there. And we give our best wishes to Andrew and, and the Wagstaff family, and uh, we look forward to having Wade back on. Stevie Fast going to show the world what a nitrous car can do. Okay. No, I thought the I thought the blower was on the car. Does he have another car? Sorry, I didn't know about that. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we're looking at we're looking at potentially a fifties. I've got a little bit of money on Slavens only because uh, that car's running. Uh, Vic, what ECU? That's an Australian ECU. Mate, that has got an Mtron. E Mtron. Unbelievable stuff, man. Mtron. Yeah. From Scotty. So no Motex, no fuel text, no no. No mate, he's gone a different way. He's got an Mtron on there. They've got it done. These guys have come out of nowhere in one year and absolutely demolished the. Yeah year. man, that went fast. They're gonna say demolish a big word. Well, it's a big Where's result. Two seventeen that car. Two seventeen and change. Uh, Three sixty two. Three sixty two. Three sixty two. And he backed it up. Kevin River back there run a three sixty one with a five mm. and a two hundred five or two hundred seven. Oh, this guy's got which ten is great. Right? But I yeah. mean, you know, for, for that sort of car, when you look at that Camaro, if you haven't seen it, dead said it looks like a street car. And if you haven't go on to um, go on to uh, onto his page and and he actually drove it through the city and did a burnout in the middle of the city in the US. They're crazy. I don't think you need to do the burnout, but anyway. Ah, oh, look, why not, mate? They can do it. Uh, so yes, mate. That's he's what the it fastest is. man. And... Absolutely. So yeah, looking forward to that, guys. Um. Go on to uh, racedxp.com uh, for Donald Long and uh, and you can grab the pay-per-view. It's $12 uh, US, I think, um, and then you can Couple watch the whole. The you know, and we've got a lot of Aussies there. I've got, I've got a reporter on the ground. Uh, Josh Brown's our reporter on the ground there. <laughs> we'll be crossing um, live we'll be crossing at live. some point. We'll be crossing live to him there. Um, Nikki Hepburn, you've just joined us, mate. I've just seen some pretty horrible stuff there. But um, you know what, Nikki? Um, looks like you're getting under people's skins, man. And uh, unfortunately, man... Uh, uh, for other people, you don't have millions of dollars of sponsorship, man. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're very proud of what you've achieved, Nikki. And we've well, always you're the world's back. fastest, you know, That's you've it. got to give credit where it's I'm going to you know, read just, the whole thing, say, mate. You're yeah. a malacca, but anyway, we won't get into that. Anyway, we'll go from there. Uh, Let it be. Tuning Marcus Burt's Nitrous RVW. Oh, yes, I didn't know that. Okay, very well done. That's a badass uh, hot rod as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, um, Sweet 16, guys, I really wanted to be there. It's my birthday tomorrow, and... Uh, and I would have been racing on my birthday, but uh, didn't turn out because my birthday present um, is um, uh, more money being spending to the race car. So, uh, uh, Kyle, there's a deposit slip coming your way. Uh, but either way, man, uh, that's what we love and that's why we do this show. Uh, so like and share, guys, like and share. Um, Chris Diggle's Planet M. What the hell? Planet M. John Cadona's. Is that a strip club? Planet M. Planet M. It is. All good. We'll just race. Where we are welcome. You're welcome at any track. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you be welcome? Uh, Nikki, you can... Does uh, anybody want to come on and just... I'm happy just for you to come now. on. You can clear Moving it up now. Forward. You want to come on, Nikki? Anybody else want to come on? Whoever. This is a forum for forum, the races. Guys. Absolutely. You know? We're here to uh, raise uh, raise awareness of the radio scene like in I Australia. Assume, you don't have to kiss everybody's asses, whatever. I get that, racing competitors. But at the end of the day, man, you know... Do what you got to do, mate. I Nikki, you're more do. than welcome to come on and uh, and give us a, a piece of your mind. I know that you're uh, fairly relaxed um, when it comes to confrontation, but uh, uh, we all know the saying, man, never uh, never piss off a woman that's uh, that's scorned, man. So um, mm, be careful on the uh, on the tree for a few people. Um, I'm on computer tonight. You will understand from the thread. Honestly, I'm getting upset just reading some of them. Please, someone go on. No, that's Hollywood. Now, uh, <laughs> spill the beans. Uh, the next person that we're going to bring on, and where hopefully he's he, watching, I, I don't where know where he, he is. Uh, we got Nathan. Cliff, I got Chris Ferrugia there, but I don't have Nathan. Um, tell me he's gone. He's packed us up. Speedy, can you get on to Nathan and just tell him, man, he's uh, he's slot on the show. He's ready to go. Uh, it's nine fifty-eight, so we're doing well for time. Yeah. Um, we Ribbon still... Bank has a fast car. Yes, Absolutely. I said Kevin. Yeah. Kevin does have an extreme. Yeah, he fast went car. Uh, 350, 361. 361, 361 um, and, and took it over from Slavens. I think uh, two two passes afterwards. Yeah, yeah. The proline uh, proline. No, it's, the battle's going to be on. For, oh, it's, for, uh, oh, it'll be done for the fifties. You know, uh, so. it'll be done, and everyone's going to swing for the hills on the first pass. I'll be honest. Um, she bites. She's fast. Watch it. Yeah, absolutely. Nikki Hepburn um, doing it off their own pocket uh, and uh, and doing very well as well. So that's um. Well, you're the world's fastest import radio. Like, what do you mean? Who's the Malaka? Uh, 
Yeah, there's, there's, we, a, there's a couple of cowboys. I don't know what the go is. I've just seen. There's a, there's a 22 just, group. Some chat there. I, I don't know. There's just mate, yellow pages long as shit. Like, come on, yeah. Man. Like, seriously, I'm not into that bullshit. If you got something to say, say it to whoever it is and move on, man. You know, like them, fine, move on. I get it. You know, mm. I, I got millions of people that don't like me. They got voodoo dolls of me. Hey, you know, I sleep great, so whatever. You know. Um, the problem is, you know, people see which way the wind's blowing. They blew with it, then they wish it, they, you know, was blowing the other way. So I'm not going get to that, get that started. But build a threesome without sponsorship. <laughs> no, oh, mate, this is heavy, mate. This is heavy, heavy stuff. Um, okay, uh, Speedy, so if somebody wants to come on. Can you get Nathan Ferrugia on? Uh, Troy Witten, man. How are you, bro? How's the Tirana? We haven't seen you, man. We've been up in Brisbane a few times. I hear you're working hard, mate. So. Like and share, guys. Like and share. Next guest is going to be Nathan Ferrugia, who still holds the record um, in ET for 275 radial tyres in this country. Well, Where is he? Someone get him on. Speedy Dips, he's your boy. Get him on. What if Tim Cross go? The, the guy sent in the time cards. We're just waiting on Perry Bullard. And if he wants to send the time card in, send it in. And that's it. Long story short, trying to get pro radio at Winters, changed to RVWs for an exhibition. To see... To see if the numbers increase and there are arguments for and against. Oh, man. Right. Jeez, man. It's not like we've got 300 cars. That's what we always say. So let people race. Isn't that what we say? I don't get it, man. Anyway. I don't get it. Anyway, you've called him. Try call him again. Call him. Speed dial, brother. Keep calling him. Meanwhile, while we're waiting here... Yeah, go on. You had some breaking news. About I do have some breaking news. I, I don't know if Jenny Borales is watching. That's, that, that's my better half. Oh, what's going on? Um... I need her out here as soon as possible. Is oh. Jenny Borellis watching still? But you've already proposed to her, bro. Proposed? Mate, you know, I'm the worst. I didn't even go down on one knee, bro. I just gave it to him and he said, I know you're going to marry me. I swear to God, how <laughs> fucked up is that? Anyway, I'm not even going to go to him. <laughs> oh, I know, man. That was a many, many moons ago, man, you know? Oh, man. Now, while we're waiting for Nathan Ferrugia, guys, if you um, if you just uh, joined us, I just want to go over um, a very good friend of Vixen and, and, and mine Craig as well. Lewis, hey lads, we'll do a live feed at the car next. Absolutely, mate. Yeah. yeah. Let us know. You want to come back on? I don't have a problem no, with it. Next, no, I'm happy to do it. Guy, it's, at, it's at, what is it? Pro oh. Industries or something? No, I right? didn't know if you meant Pro 275. Um, okay, guys, if you've just joined us as well, a very good friend of uh, Victor's, um, and if you're in Sydney, uh, you'll know this guy. Um, that's Steve from Unique Mufflers, guys. Um, Steve Naban. That's Steve Billy, Naban. That's Naban's brother. So Bill Naban's brother. Um, and I know Gina watches the show, so I'm show, sure she'll tell um, Bill and Steve what we're doing here. But guys, um, there's a GoFundMe page. It says Big Brother Steve, um, who's been diagnosed with, uh, with cancer. Um, he's had to leave the shop um, and uh, he's in the process of potentially having to close it down. So they started a, a GoFundMe just to get the rent paid for about three months. Um, and the goal's ten thousand um, dollars. They've raised three thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. If you've got anything, guys, please uh, try and help uh, Steve. Uh, he's a fantastic gentleman. He would give his left arm for anyone, and uh, and always does. Vic, um, just tell the people a little bit about a um, little bit about that band. And, and yeah, Steve, I've known him for over twenty-five years. Man, since he's me, in my teens, there, you know, does does a, does you know works very hard. Man, family guy, always into the you know inner callers and exhaust and stuff and. He'll just, like you said, just helps anybody, mate. He's, um, he's definitely a guy who, um, who absolutely uh, needs everyone's support. And, yeah, you know, he's, he's done a lot for everyone. So, anyway, um, yeah, get out there if you can support him, great. Um, and that's it, all, all, all the supporters. Yeah, guys, so the GoFundMe for Naban, um, it's Big Brother Steve on GoFundMe. Any, anything you can support, uh, me and Vic will jump on now and, and, and put a couple of bucks in. But, guys... Correct, that's um, Steve from Billmore. Thanks, John. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's uh, that's correct, man. So, yeah, GoFundMe. Yeah, man, he's got pretty severe cancer, Pete. Um, Something, yeah, stomach there. Who, who's trying to get on? What do you mean he's trying to get on? Tell me, stop watching porn and tell me get on here, man. Hold your horses, hold your horses. Hold on, hold on. Get him on, get him on, get him on. And Where then is we'll, he? Where we'll is do something he? Yeah. Yeah. Nathan Ferrugia, you can request to come on. Come on. Chris Ferrugia is here. Where's Nathan? <clears throat> okay, make sure he's got, um, make sure he's got, uh, he's on his mobile device. Yeah, very sad news, John, um, about Steve. And uh, Vic's been friends with Steve Naban for a very, very long time, man. The guy's going into surgery what this week. That? I believe, yes. Yeah, this week, man. Is there, man. You know. he's, uh, he's run his business. Uh, he is the brother of uh, Billy Naban, um, who does the uh, the Gina Bullivan's car that, that you would all know. Um, so, guys, please, on the GoFundMe, it's uh, Big Brother okay. Steve on GoFundMe. Get behind him and um, 
So, yeah, it's uh, yeah, very sad. And, and there are a lot of races out there like that. And, guys, please give me an update on um, on the Gazzard brothers as well, please. Um, Scotty right? Cortino, I want to make sure he's okay. Um, there's a, there's another couple of guys out there that reach out to reach out to us. And Jenny's just gone through cancer, man. Bill so you, you, know that discriminate. you don't want to... Um, you don't wish it on anyone, and uh, and you know Jen's uh, nice and powerful and strong these days as well. Uh, God bless him. Yeah, absolutely. Is Nathan coming on there? Sorry. Oh no, let's just see if he's here. Let's see if Nathan's coming on. We'll get him on, and then we'll do this here as well. He's not on yet, mate. So I've just. Um... Does Jim Speedy want to come on? Is he on there? He's on. His Great. Head. Is Helia here? South one. Oh, great. Oh, man, football. That's not going to help you. Run Steve, did, yeah, Steve did the uh, Charade Turbo Amp, um, and, uh, and what a job he did there, man. He, he snapped yeah. it out in one day. Um, Scott is recovering well. Can you please wish him uh, all the best from me and Vic? Um, yeah, all the uh, best, Scotty, mate. I didn't like seeing Speedy him with recovery. all that, but um, I wish him all the best, and it'll be good to see him back out racing. He said he's got a big, bad uh, big bad combo coming for everyone now, so... Be a pro charge set up, I think he, he was saying, Vic, is that right? Correct. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, more importantly, we've got some big breaking news, guys. As you all know, Sam's let it out of the bag. It, it, it's his birthday tomorrow. We're not going to wait. We've got... Uh, we've, we've got... We've Jenny, got one uh, half. Come, 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 come in. Come around. Sit on Vic's lap. Here we go. We've got a nice cakey. We're all going to sing, Sam, your happy oh, birthday. Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Sammy. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. What? Happy? Hooray. Happy? Hooray. These guys are happy. Happy booster. Happy birthday. Look at this shit everywhere. My God. Oh, man. Happy birthday, happy mate. Birthday. All the best, mate. Thank you. All the best. Thanks, mate. All the best, mate. Thank you. I want to do it with Nathan on there, but well, we Nathan, need a backup person there. Tell him how to enter on his trying. Okay. okay. So down the bottom. No, stay with us. Stay with us. No, what do you mean? Stay can, with me. Can you cut the cake? I'm a bit hungry. Yep. Um, down the bottom, thank you. Yeah. You can all have some cake with me. Um, you powdered the room, you man. That's uh, icing sugar, not what it, what you're thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, down the bottom, there's a little person with a little uh, square around it with a little picture. If he clicks that, and he can uh, try and join, he's got to be on his mobile device, uh, Steve. Uh, sorry, Speedy. And he's... I think he was on earlier, mate. So well, yeah, he was on earlier. So refresh. Yeah. Is he trying to get on, ring him, whatever? Just tell him the, to join us down the bottom. He'll, it'll come up with a little thing and he can join us. Uh, thanks, Timmy. Thank you, mate. It's tomorrow. Start giving him a few punches from everybody. Uh, bring, bring your request to him, All the knives are in my back already, bro. Mate, so it's all good. Mate, might have been inches 93. I'll come on my back. Knives, machetes, words. Oh, no worries, brother. Bring we, it, man. We've got lovers and haters everywhere, man. You got the haters of the best. I just want to say, man, I love all you guys. Thank you for uh, for all your support, man. No, we it's, do, uh, mate. This is a bit of a show of love, and um, it is. we're just trying to grow the sport um, our own way. Uh, thanks, man. Thank you, Nelson, who's part of the team. Tony, thank you, man. Thank you, thank Danny you. Danny McDessie, Price happy production. birthday. Hope you wish for a blower to beat you, he goes. <laughs> I already know you, you get... have a blower. You used to have a blower. I did have one. I, I already know you're going to kick my ass, McDessie, but you know what? No, you got rid I'm, of the weed whacker. I'm not, you got I'm rid not, of the weed whacker. I'm not like all these big twin turbos that are scared of McDessie, man. He's got a badass hot rod, and you know what? It'd be a pleasure to lose to you, brother. Yeah, right, that's a valiant, mate. Replying, it's a chat group. Hey, there we, we go. He missed out the happy birthday. I'm going to make him sing it to you right now. Hold on, hold on. Get the headphones. I've got fucking icing sugar everywhere here. Icing sugar? <laughs> you know, buddhas.com. Hey, mate. Hey, boys. you got to sing him happy birthday. Oh, I'm waiting for you with my wife. No, no, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We'll head to Men's Gala. Happy birthday. You have to catch me coming to. Now tell me, Mr. Ferugia, um, mate, that RX3 of yours. Honestly, it needs a sticker from NASA um, because that's where you were heading with it uh, in the first round of Kenda. Straight for the moon. Um, listen, you got to tell your mate, Dale, uh, uh, just wind the boost back a little bit past the 330, bro, because honestly, uh, you were going to be all four wheels there for a bit. Uh, look, that was a spark plug change that I decided to do a bit of, a bit of maintenance in the morning on Saturday. And, uh, mate, we found a few more horsepower that... Uh, we had to sort of pull back a little bit after three wheel alignments. 
<laughs> and uh, we we nearly <laughs> got there, and then the and then the rain came. So yeah. I've sh- I've done a little bit of short shortening on the five pound waistband springs, and uh, hopefully next time we go, we got we can pull a little bit more out. But um, she's on target. She's on target for Jambo. Uh, so you'll be, racing, good... you, you'll be racing on the thirtieth of uh, of March. Yes, yes, I'm testing on the Friday and um, oh, racing, racing on racing Jambo. I've got to, me and Steve have a bit of a heads up. Oh, what's the heads it's, up? Uh, it'll be a good, good little challenge again. He got, I, I lost the the first Sydney Jambo to Steve across the line. Right. Oh, one of them two years ago. Oh, was it was two years or one? No, it was two years. Yeah, yeah. He got me on the line on the in the finals. So. Are we putting we money to, on it? Oh, well, maybe we will be. Okay. Maybe we will be this right year. Here. Small wager. Little wager. Yeah, you know, five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks this time. Five hundred bucks on this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Um, so, right. so Nate, can you tell everyone what's in that uh, that that little RX three of yours, man? Uh, I've got one a little one of uh, Dandy's Frankie's engines. It's got uh, Cal Calian's old six thirty two. Um, wow. it's a big block big block Chev. Um. What has it got? Fucking the CPC manifold. Uh, it's got CID heads um, and all the rest of the fruit. The usual. It's a, it's a dry motor. There's no water in it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got an Owls Race Glide two-speed gearbox mm-hmm. and a ProTor converter in there, man, with a pair of ninety eights. So uh, two precision ninety eights. Yeah, precision ninety eights. Smoking. Smoking to the front, man. It's it's actually. I'm with you. I'm with you. No, they make it. They make it. No, all jokes aside, I know the precisions actually make us uh, a little bit more power peak than the Garrett. So I'm happy to say that. Um, and uh, and man, gee, they were working very good on your car. Um, the car is uh, is prepared by Dale Hillier. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, tuned by him. The chassis by uh, SCF Craig. Craig Burns. And yeah. Uh, yeah, the chassis was originally built by Groove Rider. Um, okay, yeah, and right. and we got a Menza uh, suspension set up in it front and rear. It's just a little ladder bar car, man, on the two seven fives, and uh, yeah, it's uh, coming out the party again. So it's good. We got some made some good progress in Queensland. Yeah, you did, and it sh- should be fast in in Sydney. Look, if you keep the nose down on that thing, and, and look, it's got a lot of power. I think I, be, I, I think I could be the first one to say that that, that car is actually overpowered. Uh, but but it's all about uh, power management now, and uh, for you and uh, and you don't need to worry about not having enough. So uh, you and Dale uh, will really get a handle of it. I'm re- I'm looking for you though because you started to really get some big results in um, in, in Willowbank. Uh, as long as you have got the track there, um, I believe you're going to run super fast, man. Oh, 100 percent, hundred. Is that still set up in quarter mile form too mm. uh, in Queensland? So it's still got the three two gears in it. So. <laughs> She's, Tell me, what, she's what have a, you run? What have you run um, in terms of your record ET? Because I believe that ET still stands. Yeah, we went six seven seven at two oh nine, I think. Yeah, right. And the cars, the best sixty foot uh, on that thing is one one five. I think we did a. We went one 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 in Queensland. Right. Triple one in Queensland, and uh, the best I've gone to half is a four forty three. Wow! Wow! Um, so, look, if you put all those incrementals together, we can all see where that's going to go. And thank you for uh, putting your time card up as well, because I know there's um, there's a lot of people who uh, who like to be keyboard warriors, but, uh, but, mate, you were the first one to, to whack your time card up. You've got nothing to hide there. So thank you very much for that, Nate. I very much appreciate it. Um, no tell, us, tell us, mate, uh, what's the everyday job for Nathan Perugia? Uh, mate, I run a Sydney building company. We do um, architectural homes and full facade and high-rise upgrades on strata blocks around the waterfront. Wow. What's it called? Uh, Coastline Building Co. Proprietary Limited. Coastline Building Co. So, guys, if you've got uh, any upgrades to your home or if you've got a uh, a residential tower and you work for a strata company and these upgrades, uh, please uh, look at uh, Coastline um, and Nathan Ferrugia who who can definitely do the job for you, yeah? Yeah, 100%. And uh, so tell me, Nath, um, are you going to be up at the Kenda next round? Uh, not Banarabi, but yeah. the one in Willowbank? Yeah, yeah, we're coming to Willowbank. Yeah, it was okay. good. That was a good trip. Good good crew, good vibe, good track. Mate, we had a ball. We had a ball. It was good, mate. We stayed just out of Ipswich. Uh, definitely coming back. Yeah, well, oh, shit. Look at that. Bring it closer, mate. <laughs> yeah. If, 
Yeah. There was a few of them. There was a few of those, man. That was that one was actually a good one. There was another one where you were like that. Yeah, look, I think I'd give uh, I might have a second job at Bow Repairs doing fuck wheel alignment soon. <laughs> But, uh, look, I, I did manage to get it back around. We didn't do too much damage, and, uh, no, nah, it, it should be good. No, congratulations to you on, on getting that car back around after obviously coming down pretty hard, um, and uh, and your team did just did not stop. I know Dale was running his car at the same time, but you guys have got a very good um, combination sort out for, for running the car's rounds. Um, so, mate, congratulations <coughs> for you there. Um, tell us, Dale, uh, Nathan, sorry, what's the, what's the prediction for the – what's the goal for the car? I would love to get a forty out of it, but really? uh, okay. we'll just we'll just see how uh, how my, how it's going to apply the power and how we're going to get down. It's just the first half. First half, I think I'm I'm sort of getting limited around the. It, it would have had a thirty in it on the Friday up in Queensland uh, where it didn't shift, hit the shift on the shift timer, but um, we'll just let Sydney. We'll find out in Sydney what it's got in it. Mm, okay, so it, there you go. No, it's, it's all right. Yeah, so we just, we, mate, it's pretty much exact, come out of Queensland with the last changes. I just uh, shortened the wastegate springs a little bit more to see if we can get a little bit more air boost out mm. in, that first, in the first part of that track. And coming home, man, if, if I can keep the nail, nose down, she's, she's, right, she's, a, she's a bullet. Mm. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. It's going to be great to see you and Steve Bazzino, um head-to-head. Um, the two uh, two fastest and quickest uh, 275 cars so far, I mean, from the time slips that I've seen anyway, um, yeah. and, and the video footage and, and everything, mate. I, uh, I'm looking forward to the test day, and I'm looking forward to Jambo on the 30th. Mate, okay. So am I, man. Okay. So am I. Now, I hear Speedy's and uh, he's going to organise a little bit of a barbecue for that, so uh, I hope we're invited still. 110 percent, mate. Jimmy's, Jimmy's got those, the lamb ribs cracking again, man. It's going to be going to be real good. So if you're out on the Friday. We've got Doug Day watching from Sweet 16. Wow. So they're watching us from in the premium, premium race. We appreciate it, Doug. Yeah, um, and, uh, mate, you're going to be around for the, for the best event ever. Um, so, Nate, thanks for joining us, mate. Um, is there anyone you want to thank? Uh, and uh, if you want to just go over everyone that's involved with the car, please. Oh, oh everyone, everyone. So you got Craig, Craig from SCF. He's always on the blower with me far out, even on his holidays. Mm. you got uh, Dale and the boys at Castle Hill. Mate, they're always, always, always helping out. You've got far out. You've got Al, Al at uh, Al's Race Glides. He's mm-hmm. backed me from the start. And, man, we've got a combo in that gearbox. So I've got no drama. Mate, it's flawless. Mm-hmm. Oil comes out perfect. She's mint. Hasn't it only been out once over the last six years for a checkup. Um, who else have we got there that I'm going to miss? Ah, uh, Jimmy from Speedy's Diffs, mate. He's always there. He's always cooking. He's always helping me with those gears. And, uh, mate, he's, he's, he's a really, really good pit crew of mine. And all the boys. And uh, the cake, obviously. you got to have a piece of that cake for me. <laughs> Only a little bit, man. I've got to keep the race weight. Uh, we're on a specific program. Oh, Scott has joined us. Okay. So, uh, Nath, um, obviously the family's a big part of racing. Um I know you've got support of your whole family, and, and uh, I'm sure that um, they're, they're behind you 100%. We're looking forward to seeing you in Jambo and, uh, and seeing what the RX3 can do, brother. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. I can't forget there's a Haltech and Turbo Smart in there as well. They were nearly forgotten. I should have, ri- I should have written right. a list. No, no, mate, you didn't no problem. That's all right. Awesome. No, no. Thank, thank um, you, guys. Thank teams. So, so what Haltech is the user running, mate? Uh, at the moment, I've got the 2500... Um, the 2500 Elite, Elite uh, yeah. with the with the REM box, um, and we can run well. Like the, they've got that. I've got uh, what else have I got in there? And all the gates, all the gates are Turbo Smart. You said yeah. Yes, Turbo Smart gates, Turbo Smart blow valves. Okay. I've got all the new ones, mate, working flawlessly on the CO2. Oh, very good. Very good. And uh, man, the like I said, it's been flawless. All the the package that's in it. It just goes and goes and goes. So no, nah, look, it's a badass fit. combo making big, big power, and uh, and we know that you're going to have some uh, a lot of success in, uh, ahead for your racing uh, this year. Thanks, buddies. No worries. Can't wait for next week, mate. We'll see you next week. We'll, yeah, we'll, see, we'll see it. We'll see you at the Barbie. I hope you're psyched up, bro. We'll see you there. All right, mate. Thanks, Thanks man. Mate. See you, boys. Thanks, Thank bye, you. bye, bye, bye. Well, there you have it, mate. Man in the quickest RX3 there, Scotty Cortina. We asked the boys how you were, mate. Um, 
we just want to make sure you're okay and you're recovering well, brother. Um, we miss your racing and, uh, and we look forward to uh, seeing you back out on the track with your new combo, man. I hope you're feeling a lot better, man. Um, Vic, uh, Vic and I uh, did a big shout out for you, brother. Um, in between the episodes, so it's good no, to I see wish everybody the best of health. Absolutely, man. Without we've, that, you can't do anything. We've got a couple of uh, friends and, and one of Vic's yeah. very close friends, Steve's got uh, cancer and um, he's going in for surgery this week, guys. So, um, Scotty, it's it's great to have you on board, man. Um, I hope you can rewatch uh, some of the episode. Um, uh, we've had uh, Steve Bazina on, Nathan Ferrugia, uh, Craig Lewis, uh, Matt McCarthy's been on. Uh, we've we had apologies from Wade Wagstaff, whose father got rushed to hospital uh, just for a, an injury that occurred at. Uh, at his work, but I'm sure he's going to be fine. Um, Stephen Smith, uh, Jambo Testa is going to be insane. It is actually going to be insane. Um, I spoke to Colin because there's a few cars I wanted to, to add on, and, and guys, I just want to um, give you a, a, a rundown on Jambo. Obviously, the, the date changed because of the weather. I think it was the right call. It was, it was, it was raining pretty heavily, um, so that, that was the right call. But they've capped um, the number of cars in testing, and to get that extended they're going to charge colin for it to be a full event um and so yeah. based on based on, and look i'm not going to get stuck into yeah. it because that's a whole other episode that i'm going to do on the tracks um because there's some shit that i'm hearing now it's just disgraceful but um from what i understand they're going to charge colin if one more car joins for a full event and and colin can't can't put the money in for that so unfortunately guys um uh, you know, they're capped at the, at the testing. If anyone pulls out, there's a list already with 20 people on it that, that's in the waiting line. Um, now, there is a test in tune at Willow Bank on the 29th. If you're keen to drive through the night, that's the you, Friday can, night. you can do that. Um, we may potentially we, be there. We may be there on the test in tune anyway Correct. for another car. Um, and uh, I know Willow Bank's got a test in tune and this The only reason that's weekend. happening, sorry, no, you're I right. think that's is because obviously this, you know, there's probably at least five or ten guys that want to jump on. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, and look, they're not going to race Jambo now. You no, know what I mean? Right. So, so look, it is yeah. what it is. Um, but guys, try nice if there was some flexibility. Absolutely. I don't know what it needs. I mean, oh, oh, I if know. we've got the fireys, we've got the crew, we've got everybody there to facilitate it. I mean, what's the difference on a Wednesday night? I don't understand this. Well, look, if you do the on math, Wednesday how, night, much is, how much is it to enter? Hold on. What I'm saying is on yeah. Wednesday night, you've got 200 cars, yeah? Okay, so 200 cars. And what 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 is it to enter there? Or what is it? 50? 50 dollars. 50 bucks. 50 by 200. Is it 50? Okay, that's 10 grand. 50 or 60. Anyway. So I'll tell you, Colin's paying a lot more than 10, 10 grand. For 40 cars. For 40 cars. And, uh, and, and they ain't nowhere near 200. What we're saying is, you know what? Guys want to race. Give them the opportunity. Work with the racers. You know, hey, you know, at the end of the day, everybody wants to be there. You know. I take, can't, take I, I can't comment further. No, and, I'm, and you know what? No. Here's the invitation. I want someone from Sydney Dragway to come on next episode, and I want someone from Willow Bank. And you know what? No surprises. I'll send you the questions. You can prepare your answers, and you can tell the radio world um, the answers to the questions we'll send you. There, there it is. No surprises. I won't spring nothing on you. Guys, I'll pre-send everything. Hey, the guys have been doing a great job facilitating. All we're saying is the guys asking more. Oh, absolutely. We've got a situation now. Look, it is, 40 cars, we're going to put 45 or 50 on. No, it is what it is. Look, why is that, why look, is that a deal breaker? What I'm saying is on a Wednesday night, it's a lot of money. Now. Cars. It's a lot of money, a lot of money. Look, that's what I'm saying, you know. Um, and look, Colin... Uh, we need to put another day on. I get that. We look, could Colin, fill that day as well. What I'm saying is... Colin's had to pay um, out of his pocket as well. Um, for obviously the rain delay because obviously the track had preparations there. It was, it was two days away, three days away anyway um, from the event. So look, everyone's lost money, including the track. Um, and look, we want to get this uh, this Jambo event pretty massive. Um, there is going to be radio there, 275 and uh, and 315 radio. A lot of cars we know are going to be there and we're going to be there to support the event like crazy. Um, but... Uh, happening at all tracks. Yeah, it, it, it is, is, it is it Graham, is, it is. But, but, but you know what? Um, there are tracks that are really trying... I'm going to put my hand up. All the tracks are trying to bring races in, yeah. Some of the tracks are trying well, if to. We're not. What are they? What are we doing? What are they there for? What's happening? You know, like. Look, some of the tracks are trying to bring bums on seats. I'm because, not saying they're not doing a good job. What I'm saying is, can we do an even better job? Look, Vic, you got. Hold on, you got 50 people that want to race. The problem, Put them in, mate. brother. The problem in Australia is no, there's man, too, I don't get it, mate. too much politics in the. Um, in the management of the mate, race. We saw what happened last time. There was no racing for how long. Well, this is what I'm saying. Look. I get thought, people there. People all I can race, say get is, there, mate. open the doors, let them pay. Big, sh big shout out to Willow Bank for trying to accommodate all the races. There's a test and tune this this Saturday, tomorrow. Look, uh, Saturday, sorry. Mm. The test and tune on the 29th. Um, there's events all over the place. Um, Sydney Dragway is trying to do the best that they can with the facilities that they have. I just think that there are some calls that are made at all the tracks. Um, you know, and and I put it on there the other day. Um, Willow Bank had that huge concert. Yeah, they raised all that money. Can we get some some upgraded facilities at Willow Bank Raceway? Surely, the council, 
and Willow Bank can get together, put a few bucks together, get some upgraded toilets, upgraded shower facilities, put some bitumen in the in the pit areas. Oh, you know, just look, guys. We don't have that many tracks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you straight like this. Um, I know Aussie Moya, you can hire the track for the whole day, full radio versus the world um, track prep for the entire day, um, and I think not it was I think it was costed like three thousand dollars for the whole day. It's not even that. It might not even be that. I'll right? put him on here. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. What I'm saying, we've got 20 cars, 50 cars, but facilitated, get the people there, man. Um, so, it's so, all money. It's hold all on, money. hold on. Steve, We're not Steve, asking for free. Steve Smith here. Um, cost us 2K in flights with rain, leaving car in. No complaints whatsoever. It's not the promoter's fault. I understand, Steve, but it's people like you that we need to try and assist here. Um, and, and, you know, if, if you spend 2K on flights, surely you can get a, a test spot on the Friday, for goodness sake. Um, to run your car. That's but, what we're saying. But anyway, I, I don't want to create dramas because uh, we're here to grow the sport, not destroy it. But what we're saying sometimes, is, sometimes you know, that's not. We need to be flexible. It's a council event. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Graham. And that's that's what I said. Surely the council can get together now and and they can put some money back into the track and put some facilities, mm -hmm. man. It's mm -hmm. it's disgusting what they did to the um, to 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 the pit areas there. And look, let's be frank, guys. We need power at Willow Bank. We need bitumen. The radial series is growing like crazy there. Um, and we, ne we need the facilities now at Willow Bank. We, we need to really help them out with that. Um, replying to Danny McDessie, cannot wait to race you, bro. Okay, great. More call-outs. Uh, Graham, thank you for agreeing with us. And thanks for giving us the heads up that it hey, was a council. this cake, <laughs> you haven't had a cake like this, I'm telling you. This basket I'm, I'm cake, swimming like five days a week. Look I can't it. eat red meat. Look at this I shouldn't thing, be drinking look alcohol. Look at this thing. Look show them the, the other side. Come show on, them the cream. Look at this cream here, man. If you want diabetes, eat that. Really, like it's Jeez. not feel like pastry, chop chip. This is Danko Danevsky, try radio race in Melbourne. I'm really sorry for you guys in oh, Melbourne. Oh, man. So bro, honestly, um, anyway, we're going to do slowly, slow and steady, but um, I'm trying to get more Melbourne people on, uh, Danko. I just had Steve Bazzina on today. I wanted to get uh, Frank Marchese on, but he's overseas at the moment. I'm going to get Frank on when he gets back um, because Frank's, uh, Frank's achievements need to be showcased. <laughs> Um, then he lands down. What's, what's wrong, wrong with one shower? Uh, Willow, mate. Yeah, everyone could jump in together, bro. Jeez. Yeah, I know. Danny's right. Uh, leave some cake for me. Where are you, Speedy? Be there in 45, bro. The show's over now. What do you mean, 45? Um, now, uh, just letting everyone know, I've got the Wade Wagstaff t shirts. They're packed, uh, and they'll be leaving tomorrow. I'll be sending some uh, care packages on my birthday. Um, but uh, anyone who is getting a Wade t shirt, they're all uh, ready to go. Uh, Replied to Greatest Coffee is on. Jenny's, uh, Jenny's. Anybody want to come on? Any last requests? Feel free. Yeah, does anyone want to come on? Plug George your business. Harimus. George Harrimus. George I've seen you come on. Is he on? Seriously, brother. I no, rang you last not. week. I left the message. He was on his fucking boat today. Where is well, he? Well, he's, he's catching Jewies or something. I don't know what he's doing. Where's Harrimus? He better get on here. Nah, he's coming on again. George Harrimus, if you're there, brother. Get on. Charlie, I'm coming too. All right, come down. Get Daniel Nunzianti on. Yeah, where is he? Daniel, PSI brother. Where is he? And tell him, tell him you've got to get the alpha guys to check their emails. I need my bonnet, my boot. I need everything. Where is he? Daniel Nunzianti. Oh, by the way, anybody, anybody that... If you want to get on... Get on. I already have one test spot and I paid for it and thank you for you guys. And I, my brother, no problem at all. Uh, Vic's garage was ready for the car. If you if you needed to, we had another, another garage as well ready for it as well. So We've got plenty of room. There's plenty of room, Steve, uh, if ever you needed to get there, mate. And that's why straight away I reached out to you. Uh, Daniel, uh, guys, is always welcome on this show because he is uh, the pioneer Jeez, of radio racing. We've done some stuff with him. and uh, and uh, He was meant to get the car over on the Georgia Mets a few years back Absolutely. There. Tried to get yeah, him there as well. Uh, um, there, but anyway, anyway we, he we got a nice it. photo of the four of us. Absolutely. The PSI uh, shirts on. on the we represented. Uh, we've crewed yeah, on that car. Scene. That was pretty cool. I've driven, uh, I've driven the tow car for that car. I've done a few things. Yep, Shane T. Mr. T, if you have a set of headphones... I would love to bring you on the show. Just for we, a couple of minutes. We fixed the uh, wrap it up. We fixed the feedback, and uh, all you need is a set of headphones. So if you have headphones, Mr. T, um, we'd love to have you on. Guys, this has been our biggest show. We've had uh, it got up to 201 people um, that were following uh, live on this. So I'm sure this is going to be great. So like and share. Um, Shane T, if you have a set of headphones, my uh, my friend. Good morning, sir. It's uh, it's 10:29 in the evening here. Um, but uh, we'd love to have you on, Mr. T, if you've got a set of your Apple headphones or, or oh, normal yeah. headphones. Yeah. Uh, Danny Lansdow, um, mate, I'd like to have you on next uh, episode, please, Danny. Um, so get yourself ready. Um, give me a few. Let me see. Thank you, Mr. T. I think everyone's going to sort of hang on for Mr. T to uh, come on. 
Um, he's just trying to find a set of headphones so we can uh, sort Danny this out. Danny can talk us through that massive wheel stand. Uh, Susie's had a few, hasn't he? Absolutely, Danny. So next That's episode, Dan, uh, you'll be on. Um, so so get get ready for that. Now, is there any more light that you can shed on this barrow in the veal? Brother, the only thing I know, mate, is this cake in my mouth. Forget the barrow in the veal, mate. Right. Will, 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 will it run a motor? Are you trying to cut my appetite? Will can I eat? Can will, I eat? Will it run a motor? Oh, please, mate. Anyway. Please, let me eat me. Fucking hell, mate. Who's Shane T? Shane Tecklenburg is um, the one of the greatest tuners, car tuners in the world. Brother, um, whoever that is, get online now. No, that was Speedy. Yeah, get online. No, it's all right. He's going to be here now. Who's Shane T? Shane T. If you don't know who Shane T is, you're under a rock. <laughs> Uh, Stelio Teotis, Speedy, Small Block. No, all good. We're just having a bit of a laugh. There now, I don't know if I don't know if still sold my old engine yet, but if you guys are looking for one bar, badass engine, that engine for further detail. No, that engine will go. I'm pretty sure that engine will go maybe four eighties, four seventies. Um, definitely set up for for the quarter it was. Around five hundred and forty eight. I went one forty eight in that, not even trying like a um, on, a, on, a, on a short shift without any front suspension. So just quickly, sorry, I'm yep. going to cut you off there. We've got our correspondent over there, Josh yeah. Brown. Any news, Josh? Do you want to come online, mate? Are you at the track? Are you under Slaven's car? <laughs> Are you under Slaven's car? Tell him I said type. Um, what was it? Number F for the stator. I think that's what we said. But anyway, no, just having a go there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that's going to go 59 oh man anyway Josh is over there found some let me clean your teeth okay clean your teeth sir Shane T's coming on guys well like and share like and share Where hit the like and minutes? share the button right now out, what do you mean the battery's, battery's going to run out mate, they can get we're done in mate no Shane T's coming on now man the only thing coming down mate is his cake <laughs> Happy birthday, Sam. Thank you, man. Thanks for the birthday cake. Um, if you don't know, it's my birthday tomorrow. Does anybody want to see a bit of cake on Sam's face? No. Huh? no I, I think no. we should do it. No. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I've seen him do that to a few people. So, um, anyway. Yo. Yo. Um, mm. no, the barrel loss would do the waste. <laughs> Uh, someone who does it with muffins. Shane anyway. T's on, guys. Coming on, so like and share because the man blueberry himself... Blueberry muffins, here you go. Yeah, screw you, Teotis. I can still smell the blueberry in my nose. So we're in Georgia and the boys are rumbling in the back. We bought some muffins from uh, from a takeaway place here. <laughs> and it was, a, it, was, it was a big muffin like this. He just reaches around from the back seat. I'm sitting in the front passenger shotgun with barrel offs. And the whole muffin went up my nose, bro. I'm telling you now. Yeah, screw you, Teotis. <laughs> Wake up. Simon O'Carroll did the last day. You reckon? <laughs> he does, bro. He yeah. does. Like Craig Lewis, voice, good night, brother. Good night. And you need a warning sign on the front blower uh, of, of that engine, man. No because... children within three Jeez, feet. man. You can't have anyone in front of that. Chris Anidis, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll be at your event uh, coming up soon as well. Uh, Shane T is going to be joining us very soon, guys. He's just cleaning his teeth, uh, getting all ready. <laughs> Now, if you don't know, Shane T just uh, entered into the world of NHRA um, tuning uh, in the Pro Mod uh, under the Elite Motorsports uh, category. And if you didn't know, um, my, You're about the best of the best. my engine was uh, owned by Clint Heston, whose brother Jake is um, well, the one of the main engine Nick guys uh, with Nick Ferry there at Elite Motorsports. And it was actually freshened before we got it by Jake at Elite um, in the Elite Workshop as well. So very, very, very proud to, um, to have Shane on and be a small part of the of the elite uh, wider family anyway. Um, we're hopefully going to have uh, Jake and uh, Clint in Australia um, and potentially Shane if uh, it just depends on um, on how all the dollars stack up for the uh, MoTeC system. But we'll, we're talking about that now with Justin. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, momentarily we will have Mr. Shane T on. He's just getting his headphones. Excuse me. I'll yeah, yeah, no, you're what excuse, put these Jason, flames mate. down, mate. Absolutely, absolutely. Peter Pap's watching. Nice Pellegrino here, Peter Pap, mate. Champion man, great, great, great passes on the yellow, uh, yellow moving machine. Uh, okay, good to go. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like and share immediately. Everyone hit the like button a hundred times. We like have Shane, Shane T coming on. Vic's, uh, Vic's spilling everything here. There's no traction. We're going to add him. <laughs> oh, where did he go? He was, he was just there. There he is. Here we go. Yeah, we to... haven't done this with an overseas guest yet. We haven't. Spoke to him the other morning. He's on his way to a track. Is he? You know, you know where he's going with the sorceress. Oh, yeah, he was going with the sorceress. I'll go and test him. 
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the like button a, a million times if you can. Shane T like coming the chair, online. Like the chair, like the chair. Go, go, Here go, we go. go. Hey, boys. Mr. Sorry. Shane T, how are you? I'm good. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the rest of the way dressed here before I leave. So I just got to put my, uh, I got to put my, air, my area pass, yeah. I suppose, or my, my ticket mm -hmm. in on. And the bus have got the guys are going to meet me for breakfast here, so I'm trying to just get get you myself ready so I can walk and talk. Yeah, although I'm, I'm not sure I can do both. I might have to stop. M Mr. T, um, as you can see, we fixed all of the uh, all the feedback issues because uh, we worked out that if you have a set of headphones and we do, it eliminates all the bullshit between Apple. So uh, good to have ah, you on this out of your feedback. Good job, man. Mm. Yeah, it's way better. We, we worked it out. Absolutely, nice absolutely. How's uh, your teeth? The teeth look great. <laughs> I feel a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T, uh, firstly, congratulations on uh, your first entry into NHRA Pro Mod. Uh, sir, what, what an event it was and what a successful outing for you, albeit that the cars didn't get into the next round, but for your first time in NHRA Pro Mod, and not only one car, three cars um, <laughs> that were being looked after at the time. Sir, how did it feel... We were so proud to see you there on the start line in NHRA, man. It was, it was, it was something to behold, and one of the fastest mile an hours ever, ever in the series on debut, um, on debut uh, for for Alex Laughlin there. Um, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, two fifty eight with an eighty six next to it as well. So um, uh, unbelievable result. How did it feel? And tell me, um, I believe that with the elite motorsports team and you, that is one lethal combination. Yeah, yeah. Well, so thank you for the congratulations. Obviously, we would have liked to have qualified. Well, we would have liked to have, we would have liked to have won the race and set low ET and top speed and qualified number one. But mm. it, we're a first year team, obviously, and we're, we still have to gel. And we have, you know, along with myself, we have Justin Elks from Modern Racing, and the two of us are kind of uh, spearheading the whole program as far as, uh, you know, all the parts that we use and all the tuning decisions that get made. But having said that, you know, we have a huge group of talented individuals working together, but people that have never worked on, on these cars, you know. Mm, so yes. we, we've got some guys from the pro stock team. We've got, um, you know, some guys that, we, that Justin brought on. And so it's, it wasn't just a team with a brand new car or even three brand new cars. It was brand new everything. Brand new truck, brand new trailer, brand new tools, brand new you know, procedures, brand new people and brand new cars. So it was, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It was absolute <laughs> chaos for it was a the shit better fight. part. Yeah. Of, yeah, it was a shit fight for the better couple, better part of a couple of days. But what's really cool is um, it, it already there's a good chemistry uh, amongst everyone on the team. And that's all the way from the top down, from Richard to, you know, all three of our drivers, Steve, um, Erica and Alex and, you know, uh, obviously between me and Justin, who we've worked together before and, you know, the guys crewing on the cars and everyone has a positive, like a positive outlook. We all understand and we've all kind of been in this position before with other cars and other teams. <clears throat> and uh, man, everybody, everybody's just everybody is how do we make it better? And mm. we're not just talking about how do we make the race car better? How do we make every single thing that we struggled with better? Every person working on every car submitted a list of things they either need, some recommendation to do something different, uh, different kinds of tools, uh, different layout of the pit area. I mean, just every single aspect. And so that's really exciting to have people that are that motivated and that all believe in each other and uh, they're all working in a common direction. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I, sky's the limit. We, obviously, we need to go figure out how to make the cars faster. You know, we just decided... We decided to debut at the race that was going to be the, the quickest ever in history. And probably any other race, we might have made it into the field with one of them. And we were in for a while with Alex's car and then, uh, and then again with Steve's car. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we did ourselves proud at the end of the day, I think. We, you know, we didn't go out there and look like a bunch of dicks, which we were definitely concerned that that was a possibility. Um, mm. And, uh, yeah, we'll get there. It's a, look, it's a process. It is a process, and, and um, we've seen you operate with uh, well gelled teams. Obviously, I, we saw you when you were first operating with the Clint Heston car after you'd just come back from the uh, Salt Flats with the Ferrari. And um, the way that you commanded the team, everyone sort of just knew their role. 
um, but they've raced with you before. Obviously, having three different teams um, and you becoming the crew chief um, for these teams, uh, uh, obviously, it's new. Um, new people on board, and these guys are used to pro stock and used to their procedure in pro stock. But I think you guys performed mar marvelously. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, look, if you saw the progression from Q1, where we were still behind the eight ball, I mean, we, we had tires that we had taken over to get mounted. I mean, look, the, the thing is that we were testing here in Valdosta at 1.30 in the afternoon on Thursday, and we had to take Steve's car to the Gator Nationals before NHRA Tech left the track to try to get the chassis certified. Oh, right, yeah. Right, and then we Jeez. still needed to tech in, and we needed to park a truck in a trailer and set up a pit area and get three cars out and get them warmed up and all do all that by 11.30 because that's when we were going to the starting line for, for Q1. And, um, you know, the trailer, trailer missed the cutoff to get in in the evening, so it was going to have to come in the morning. And they somehow, somehow they sweet-talked somebody into letting them park the thing at night when the truck got there, and that made a huge, huge, huge difference. Mm. But we were still... Literally, they called us to the lanes. We had taken uh, wheels and tires over to get new tires mounted on the car. Uh, but to Hoosier, we went over there to get our tires, and they're like, oh, they're not mounted yet. It's like, well, that, so Justin ran over and borrowed some tires from, um, from the J&A guys, and uh, we were able to make a qualifying session. But if you look at the progression from there to Q4, where everybody now had a, a little bit of practice, kind of understood their role a little bit better and what they needed to do. Um, yeah, we looked like a act. We looked like the team we wanted to look like for Q4. Oh, look, uh, I think you, I think you perform marvelously with all the cars. Um, I know that your systems and your processes um, uh, are uh, very acutely um, fine tuned. And I think the next, uh, the next episode of NHRA for you is going to be fantastic. Uh, now tell me you're in Georgia now for the sweet 16. What car are you involved with in Georgia at the moment? So I'm, I'm working with the Sorceress guys this weekend. It's a 84 Hurst old street legal car. Um, and they'd never done any radio racing before, but they watched uh, Lights Out 10 and thought it looked fun and decided since then to convert the car over to a radio car. So um, we're here. We ran the car in um, Bradenton on Monday morning. We saw that. How did it go? Yeah, it spun the tire once or twice, and then it kind of started to go down the racetrack, and then we made one down the racetrack. And then uh, we're going back up to uh, make another one, and, and, and uh, it started raining. So we decided to leave there and head to, to um, Orlando and try and run the car in Orlando. And when we got to Orlando, it started raining. And it pretty right. much rained the whole time. So we came up here yesterday, and, uh, yeah, might as well, well, might, Shane, well uh, might as well jump right back into it and go figure the car out <laughs> in qualifying just like last week. Jeez. <laughs> oh, well, nothing changes. Um, Shane, I don't want to keep you because I know you've got to have breakfast, man. Um, and, and, get, and get your butt on the road. But uh, firstly, Shane, we're very proud of what you're doing because we know you personally and we know how hard you are on yourself. I know you want all these cars to run records, uh, but you know more than anyone, it's not easy when you're debuting on these, on these events. But um, if anyone can do it, you can. So we wish you all the best for the Sorceress. Um, and hopefully we can get you on again um, during the event uh, when you're not too busy. Yeah, sounds good, man. Hey, listen, I want to say one more thing too. Victor. Your phone call the other day was gold. I, I can't tell you how much it meant at that moment uh, for you to call me and tell me what you told me. Thank you very nah, much, not, man. I, I love you guys. Problem, man. Likewise, mate. We love you Thanks, too, man. Talk soon. Cheers. Shane T to the front. Go get him, brother. Go get him, bro. Jeez. Go there get him. So, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Just for you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Bottoms up. Thank you. See you, brother. All right, see you. Shane T there, guys. Shane T. One of the best of the best. I um, said, mate. And a gentleman, mate. He's a family man. He's someone who loves racing. He <laughs> breathes racing. Um, and I don't think many people have the balls to uh, debut a car and put it up with the best of the best. And put it up with the best of the best. Not only one, three. Three. Yeah. Three cars. No, they, they did exceptionally well. Woo! Well, look, it's 10.43. We've been at this for just over two hours, so uh, my voice is actually starting to hurt. But, um, mate, guys, you kill it every time, man. You love it. You kill it, mate. Bro. You're a natural, mate. You love it, mate. As I said, we are nobodies. <laughs> you we get do the golden radio free. mic too. Um, we'll get the golden radio <laughs> mic. Um, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for, for all your support for what we do because it sykes Barrelos and I, I up. We said we're going to do this every two weeks. We're going to stick to it. We want to thank our sponsors. Um, another shout-out, please. Um, go to the GoFundMe for uh, for, for Steve uh, Naban. 
Um, I'll get someone to put the details up on, on this as well. Um, get well soon to uh, to obviously uh, Scotty Cortina um, and go from there. Sorry. What? No, I'm just having a quick look, see if someone was trying to come on there. No, I think Nick's gone as well. That's fine, leave it at that. But no, sorry, go on. Yeah, uh, and, and guys, thank you. <coughs> thank you for hanging around. We had our biggest show. We got to 201 uh, live views. Um, at one point as well, and, and we were sort of hovering at about 130 most of the most of the night. So keep liking and sharing, guys. Um, thank you very much to Vic and Jen for the birthday cake. Much Happy appreciated. Happy birthday, Thanks, Thanks for everyone. all the guys for listening. Thanks for listening. Um, Thanks for tuning in. All right, now yeah. before we go, uh, Jet275 updates. We are now uh, planning for all the electronics and ECU um, combination um, for the car now with Justin and Vic. So Vic's working out what he wants in the car. Um, I believe there's a little bit more work on the chassis stuff to finalise putting the engine in. Um, guys, I, I'm, I need to start in the hurry up on the car, but I'm at the mercy of everyone and, and they've got their own businesses, men, so we've got to just be patient with it. Uh, we've got a great team, mate. We've Dan got a great Justin team. Wilkins, we've got a great, Kyle we've got... Hoff, Michael Lohan, so, you know, um, everybody, man, everybody, mate, you know. They're, so they're look, we've, we've got the bits and pieces uh, starting to come together now. Um, it's going to run the two Garrets. We're just confirming whether we're going to go 94s um, at the moment, there's uh, there's whispers of a new new turbo coming out, so I'm just holding off on the turbos. Is that a smoking brigade or non smoking brigade? I oh, think look, it's a, it's a Garrett's. It, it'll doing. be a Garrett for now, um, but but look, Precision no. makes a great turbo. Both as well, man. They're both, uh, they're um, both uh, making. Sure. We're at CMV Performance. We saw the new uh, Gen Gen Two XPR, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, man, that bitch made some big power on yeah, uh, on John uh, GDR. He'll be um, out so out he'll be coming out man. soon as well. Um, in terms of Jet 30R, Vic, I know that you've got some huge, uh, huge things <coughs> happening to that car. Oh, so. look, I've had a lot of commitments in the background going on the last six months. So yeah. I'm not going to... No, family, family commitments. That, but, yeah. um, look, the, the car will be uh, ready to go back out uh, sooner than later. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, just a freshen up and um, go back out and see what we can do. We can yeah, so the, the, whole, the whole car is... Yeah, we're going to marginally um, quick over the eighth is good, and then uh, we'll probably look at going a couple out the back door and see if we can snag that over 180 mile on the 235s, yeah, which that, I'm pretty confident we will. So, that, so that's the goal, 180. In the... Oh, look, you know, I think I think it'll go two, three mile an hour from the 178 that it ran. Because so. you still got the quarter mile mile an hour record. Yeah, look, we've got the 18 mile an hour record there. I think there's, you know, maybe one or two tenths and probably, you mm -hmm. know, two, three mile an hour. I think in it, um, Justin's uh, had a look at a couple of things there, and we've uh, had a bit of a chat. And um, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem, man. Um, so, so if you want to know about Jet 30R, just so you know, um, the car's been given a full once over. Just waiting on two or three more things. Vic will have the. Um, Everything bolted back in. We'll do a few tests. Uh, might get up to Queensland. I'm not sure uh, what the story is there. Uh, these bloody converters, but don't get me started. Anyway, anyway. He's, he's ordered something new for it, so we'll get some more power. Um, guys, so there are the updates on the two cars. Uh, the Jet 275 website, probably give me another month. Uh, we're going to do some updates to that. I'm just waiting on Jeff Salvato for the first few designs for all the, uh, all the hats and T-shirts and jumpers and everything we're going to do for that as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, tomorrow the Wade Wagstaff T-shirts go out. Any uh, last requests? No, mate. No, you're all good? We're all good, mate. You know me, mate. We'll, uh... Thanks for joining in, and if you're not running radials, well, you're crazy. Nick Zarakas, you're the man. See, See ya. you soon.